All right, guys, we have a very special game today. Very special one that I was planning to do co-op, but since this game is so hardcore, this is something that will require uh, a specific set of skills and finesse that I think only I'm capable of, to be honest. Since I'm a self-proclaimed Contra 3 veteran slash master, well, I wasn't fully until you guys told me how to do that stupid shooting on that boss that spins you around. And you guys told me how to stop it, but <clears throat> I am ready for the ultimate challenge, and I think I have to do this one alone. Since I was able to beat Contra 3 legit on hard difficulty, legit, no sands, this will be the ultimate challenge for me. And even though this is co-op, maybe I'll play this again co-op, because this game looks awesome. Maybe I'll play it again someday, maybe on normal or easy with people. So this is the American version. You die in one hit on the American version. Apparently in the Japanese version, you can take three hits. That's for noobs. Um, this game is really special. A lot of people consider this the best 16-bit Contra. It's the only Contra that came out on Genesis. Apparently the storyline is this game takes place five years after Contra 3, which is crazy. Two alien wars in less than a decade. That's nuts. What makes this game different than Contra 3 for the Super Nintendo? <laughs> this game has multiple characters, four characters, I think. Uh, it adds a slide, there's mobility options. Slides are different per character. And each character has their own set of guns. A, B, C, and D, which you can switch, switch from. And they might have different bombs too, I'm not sure. You can also switch your control control scheme on the on the fly allowing you to shoot while not moving or freeform and apparently it's insanely hard so I'm super excited to play this game super excited there's multiple paths too spoilers that's awesome So I'm super excited. There's a European version where everyone's robotic. Yeah, was, didn't they have that for Contra 3 as well? Everyone's a robot and everyone explodes, so it's not as violent. Are you able to switch characters uh, after you die in this game? Because I, I would love to play them all and see the differences. Oh, we can't go past three? Nice, I can make it even more challenging. Wait, there's no difficulty select? I was gonna go on hard. But now I'm starting to see why this game is so hard. You can't even select the difficulty? <laughs> that's awesome. I wanted to play on hard, but I guess the whole game is hard. Okay, that solves that problem. Uh... The game has multiple rounds and endings. Okay, then we'll beat this game probably multiple times if we can. Because uh, I, I love these games. I love Contra so much. And I've never played this one before. So we will savor this game. Uh, I'll be abusing the hell out of Sans, but I'll promise I'll only use Sans at the beginning of the level so I can learn it. There is a cheat code to get 70 lives. We could do it that way too. But I think just using Sans will make things easier. <laughs> but I want to I learn this game inside out. And like I said, maybe in the future I'll play with a Quar or a Buddy or somebody on two players. Let's see what the two players is like. You can't go any hard. It gets nuts in the later levels. That's crazy that there's no difficulty select, though. I love that. Like I said, I, I have this written down when we play retro games. But usually we play on, like, I love the, I love the challenge, right? But a lot of these old retro games are just all the hardest difficulties are always an afterthought. And it totally screws up like the intended the tended intended like version of the game we always get this skewed up version like like jedi like playing the super uh star wars games or just a complete joke on hard they're just so insanely stupid and uh but i like it when games have no difficulty select because then you get you know you're playing the intended version there's no like you know controversy or anything so yeah the controls were simple in this game from what i'm reading there's literally just shoot, jump, slide. Uh, slides apparently have iframes, so I'm going to assume there's bosses where you need to slide. And uh, the shoulder buttons, or XYZ on Genesis, allow me to switch between uh, 
moving and shooting and not moving and shooting pretty much that's pretty much it so i'm happy and by the way guys tomorrow's a special day tomorrow is my birthday and i was gonna be super low key but we were talking about it yesterday and you guys seem to want to do something special for tomorrow so uh if you guys can figure out a special game for us to play tomorrow where we have no restrictions on what year the game is i vote for resident evil 1 og but if you guys have any suggestions we'll talk about it all night tonight and uh, it'll, like, if we have a game that's long and it'll, it'll be longer than a day, we can continue it on Tuesday. It's not a big deal. We can do that too. So, all right, let's try out this game. So, I'm going to just pick the first. Oh, what the hell is a beast? Yo, there's a beast and a robot. But in the EU version, they're all robots. Okay, I want to pick the the main dude. I'm just going to I'm just gonna pick the Ryu, you know? So guys, how is the volume? You guys said this has a great soundtrack. We gotta make sure the, the volume is bumping. Is it bumping? Yes or no? Does it need to be increased on the bumpage? Sounds fine. Alright. Metal Gear Solid 1 Twin Snakes? <laughs> That's actually tempting. We got this. We got the Sony show coming up, Austin. And uh, even though I'm probably not gonna wake up early, because whenever I wake up early for uh, any type of gaming show, it's cursed. But Sony is feeling themselves hard. They say this show is gonna blow your minds. So we might see a, a Metal Gear remake. We might see a, a Silent Hill. We're going full Kojima on Friday. No, Thursday. So if I wake up and it's the bomb, we'll watch it together on Thursday. Rewatch it together on Thursday. Yeah, Sony is popping off. They're, they've been feeling themselves all weekend about how good this this Sony show is going to be. It's going to be the bomb, apparently. All right. And Willie's pumped too. Of course. Okay, his name is Ray. Our security system has been breached by an unknown hacker. <laughs> Kita. An unmanned robot is running rampant through, throughout the city. I want you to proceed to the area ASAP and restore order. Got it. Is my name Scorpion by nature? No, it's weird. Whoa! Holy shit, this game doesn't mess around. How do I do my slide? Okay, down jump is my slide. Does my slide hurt enemies? Yes, it does. Okay, hold on. This soundtrack sounds bumping. I'm going to turn it off for myself. So far, it's action packed. Oh, got A and D. So if I grab D, oh, okay, D is homing. So every character, A, B, C, and D weapons do something different. My A is laser beam. Okay, laser seems to be for deeps. It was deeps in Contra 3. I'll just use homing for now. Everything is an explosion. This game inspired Golden. I can already tell this game is sick. Just by playing it for like one minute. I already know this game is good. Okay, we got bomb. How do I switch between weapons? C. Right. And then this changes my shooting Oh! What did you do? What did you do? No one is soldiering with you. Unfortunately, this is the kind of game where I have to go alone. Of 
Quaz, he's pretty good at these games, but but this is definitely one I have to go. Over. Oh, I didn't know what it does. Okay, it makes flame killers. Got it. He's dancing. <gasps> He's throwing cars. Nice, good deeps. Wow, this game is amazing. I love Contra because it's so over the top. What's this? Grenades. And the next weapon? Spread. Spread, baby. Oh shit, this is in Contra 3. Co-op will kill you if both players don't know what to do. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. What the fuck? Whoa! Dude, everything does explode in this game. Another boss. That's not the unmanned robot. Somebody's inside that thing. <gasps> I hate mechs. Oh, the, the bombs are weird in this game. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to jump to the other side. Oh, it knocks his ass down. Oh, shit. Okay. That, I have to, definitely had to slide there. Game over, bitch. All right. This game is amazing. This game is amazing. All right. Let's restart. Let's restart. I like this game already. <laughs> this game's amazing, dude. <laughs> it, if I was made this game, though, it should say game over, bitch, though. Game over, bitch. Play again. Go home to mommy. I already, drank, I already drank a lot of coffee today. I don't usually drink coffee. Where's Quiet for sniper support? All right. Come on, Vester, you hate mech so much, so beat that boss. Roger that. I will. I need to master the slides. I need to master the slide, boys. We might be playing this one all night, guys. This is gonna be fun. Can I tell this game needs an encore? We need to play this with uh, somebody as well. Can't wait to watch speedruns on this game, it's probably amazing. One thing I like about this game is with the ABCD format. Yeah, let's see if I can slide through this guy. Nice. With the ABCD format, you don't have to worry about overlapping your weapons, because in Contra 3, you have to always consciously pay attention to what weapon slot you're using, right? Is it possible that this game is better than Contra 3? Is it possible that Genesis actually has a superior game than Super Nintendo? I'm scared to even think that.
deeps. <laughs> My eyes! That's good. That's how you know the game is good. And you can't even see. That's for my eyes! Alright guys, let's try this again. shoot that fast last time uh -oh. oh this has limited range this is like crush this is where he starts spinning and shit Yes! Who was it? Oops, I bought? What? Who are you? You can call me Dead Eye, Dead Eye Joe! Oh my god. If you want to know more than that, then come and get me. Oh my god, he's got jetpack. And it's got uh, Gunstar Hero sound effects because it's Sega. <laughs> The research center is under attack by an unknown group. Who's that? Is that Dr. Wiley? Please come and help. Damn, what should I do? Wait, oh, choose her a path. Do we go after Dead Eye Joe or rescue the research center? Well, if there's split paths in this game, let's just choose the top, whatever the top thing is. That way you can remember what we chose. I mean, go from there. Um, Does picking my character, guys, uh, have any difference in the paths? Does anybody know? Or my character choice does not matter? I would like to know. So we can see all the content in this game. No. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's go after Deadeye Joe then. <gasps> I know that theme. Oh shit, we're on the bikes already? Oh, we're gonna need homing for this. So Contra's a kind of a game, it's almost like a shoot 'em up where if you die, you're in serious trouble because you're losing your weapons. What the hell is it supposed to do there? But with this game having four different weapons, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, you can't slide on the bike. So I'm getting used to switching between uh, move while shooting and not move while shooting. One good thing about any game, any game you play, is that the more mini bosses you have, the better the game is. You guys notice that? Any game that has non stop mini bosses are always godlike. I don't know why that is. Symphony of the Night. Contra 3. <clears throat> Legend of Zelda. All those games, man. Mini bosses are always godlike. It, it really is the rule. Okay. I think homing's still the way to go.
So, when you get to that missile guy, I'm gonna switch to the grenades. Or crush. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, I just had to stay on the blast radius. Okay, by the way, my plan would suck. Fuck, I forgot what he did. Okay, so he goes to the front after. What's going on? Oh, he's just dying. Okay. There's Joe. Whoa! Oh, oh, cheeks. Dude, it's, I'm on an ostrich. What? He has, has a hitbox? Oh shit, it tricked me. Okay, good deeps. Whoa! <laughs> this game is insane! Oh my god, Gunstar Heroes! Wait, how am I running so fast? Dude, my guy's cracked. How am I able to outrun this guy? Oh, shit! <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> oh, man. This game was done after Gunstar Heroes? Yeah, I, I would imagine. Gunstar Heroes was like 93, I think. That was crazy. Nice. This is good deeps, man. We should use this grenade launcher more often. What? Oh, forgot the first pattern again. Oh, we need to home into this now. No! What am I doing? Oh, shit! No! <laughs> I screwed myself. Okay, that was bad. Real bad. Hey! Okay. Insanely bad. That was way worse than even our first attempt. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh man. By the way, if we play if we play Resident Evil tomorrow, guys, we need to when we watch the intro, we need to watch the uncensored one as well. Because I wanna see I wanna see Chris smoking. It's too godlike, dude. I barely remember Resident Evil 1. It's gonna be fun if we play it. What's up, h 2 We're learning Contra Hardcore. Okay, it's gonna fall backwards. It's gonna fall backwards.
Okay, now it's gonna fall forward. No! Okay. Should probably did homing. It's okay. Okay, I forgot where it falls here. Forgot. Okay, forward. No, I missed the jump. Okay, I got home. Spread doesn't seem to be too strong in this game. Spread was OP in Contra 1 and pretty much in Contra 2. And it's been nerfed ever since. It's just the OG god weapon in Contra series. Nice, we got a laser though. Okay, remember this has a hitbox. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, go homing for this one. Ray is the weakest character in the game. Oh, I read the chat and I got hit. Come on, I need to concentrate. Oh my god, he just jumped on me. What the... Raised weapons are just normal. That's okay though, because this is this is a good starting point for us to learn all the characters, right? This is a good starting point. All right, BRB. If I continue, can I switch my character? You don't remember? We can find out right now. Yeah, you can switch your character. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Guys, when you when you select a path, do the paths merge after each time you choose it? What I mean is, what I'm trying to say is, if I choose only the all the top options. Hold on a second. And then the next playthrough, I choose all the bottom options. Do we see every path? That's what I'm trying to say. You guys understand what I mean? No, no as in what? Did you clarify? They branch? Okay, so I, I there is a lot of replayability then. Okay. Alright, thanks for letting me know. Like I said, we'll just keep playing different characters then. It's all good. I this is a game I definitely want to savor. So I'm going to uh I don't mind playing this game multiple times is what I'm saying. Ah, cheeks! No, I did switch the thingy. Looks really hard? Yeah, this game is tough, but it's super fun and super fair. Super fun and super fair. Just learning enemy patterns. Okay, well, I gotta pay attention here. I got hit here last time. I didn't pay attention. Okay, does he slam his fist in the direction I am? Yeah, it looks like where I'm standing. And I can slide. Okay, good. Wait, how am I supposed to dodge that? I 
I think I'll slide this one. The double slam. Okay, it looks like he slams the sides. Slams the sides. I'm gonna use grenades. Leaps, and this is where he slams the sides. Okay. Nice. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's cracked. Nice! You can't get away now. Give yourself up. You fool! I'm nothing more than a decoy. By this time, my friends have arrived at the research center. <gasps> no! We chose the wrong choice. What the hell's the alien cell? Alien cell? Now begins the true horror. And he laughs like a Yori. And he blew himself up! Oh my god. He's like one of my Apex teammates. Three days later. You can play Final Fantasy XIV for tomorrow's stream? That is like literally the worst idea ever. That's worse than trying to play Guilty Gear Strive. I am so uninterested in Final Fantasy XIV, it hurts. It hurts. Okay, this guy's the hacker. His name is Neumann Cascade. Neumann. He's the best hacker on the net. And he used the panic caused by the robot as a diversion. So he can steal the mother alien cell. What the hell is the alien cell? It's very likely there is an organization working behind him. His hideout is under a garbage dump. <laughs> it's under a garbage dump. Don't screw this one up. Got it. Uh, let's use spread for this. Damn, what a stage. This steam is bumping. Oh shit. Oh, what? They fire. Oh, I didn't want to use my grenade there. Ah! Holy shit. Game over, bitch. We need homing badly for, for all the jobbers. Remember when uh, someone asked me what's the best uh, soundtrack on the Genesis? Or best gaming soundtrack? And I'm like, si Sonic CD or Streets of Rage uh, 2? I think that we got a contender, boys. Plasma Sword? What's that? Is that the game that uh, Hayate came from? I don't want to play a fighting game for my birthday though, guys. No offense. <laughs> I don't want to play a fighting game for my birthday. The last thing I want to do is play a fighting game, guys.
Turok 1? Ooh. That's a good one, King. That's a good one. I don't know if you guys want to see a uh, fog for an entire day, though. You know what I'm saying? What? How am I Oh, I was supposed to slide. Fuck, it's Junk Master. What? How am I supposed to dodge that? Holy shit. Oh my god. Fallout 3? That's so random. Star Fox 64? Dude, I love Star Fox 64. I, I, I wanted that game more than GoldenEye back when I was a kid, but I didn't know how godlike GoldenEye was. I was, wasn't educated enough, you know? I was supposed to duck that? Alright. I, I, I was going to assume I needed to slide, you know? Okay, spread is doing work. Okay, I'm gonna slide across this. I'm gonna get ready to slide again. Okay, I'll try ducking. I don't know what's doing. That you have to jump. Thousand percent. Okay. Jump, duck, then jump. I run this game almost every day. <laughs> That's badass, dude. You spoil yourself though. How does how does one handle playing such a godlike game every day? I think that's too much, man. Dude, that's like eating poutine every day. You know? When is it too much? Yo, what's up, Dark Lord? This is one of my favorite games. I'm surprised so many of you guys know about this game. I've never played it before. If I owned a Genesis, though, dude... You better fucking believe I would get this game. This would be like on the top of my list, man. This and Gunstar for sure. I fucking love these games. This and the Zelda game? <laughs> Crusader of Senti? Okay, I'm ducking, I'm ducking. Staying duck. Okay. Okay, this time is the jump. Okay, dude, I, I barely had time to react to that. Here it comes. Oh my god, dude, it's so fast. <laughs> mm hmm This game came out in 94. Yeah, we're uh if you're new around here, this is uh 1994 retro adventure. So Just trying to save this game for close to last, so uh we still have good games to play. The problem is, guys, as we're getting close to finishing 94, we're going to start getting to the, the weird games, the unloved ones. So prepare yourselves.
Oh shit, I didn't even see what hit. I think I got hit by the missile. Oh, if you're too close, you can't duck it. Okay. I was going for maximum deeps. The whack log? The whack log comes after we finish 94. And then we move on to 95. And then, of course, we'll celebrate with something, like, really good. And since Street Fighter is dead, uh, I guarantee we'll get to 95 soon. As, lo as long as you guys didn't put in something super whack in the whack log. But don't worry, I'll moderate it and make sure we don't fall into the trap of something extra whack. And I'm talking to you, e -tron. White wins on my shit list, too. For whack games. Yeah, Street Fighter's dead until November. And we're also gonna check out that uh, that Nickelodeon game in October. Oops! I didn't mean to slide. Oh! Okay. Getting used to the controls. What is this Wolverine game you guys are talking about? Kid Kimmeling was like one of the worst games ever made. Alright. So I screwed up on accidental slides there. Oh, I should have slid. Definitely should have slid there. No! I wanted to get good deeps again. Damn it. It went too close again. Comic Zone? I think that's 95, bro. So we're getting close. Um, what? Another thing too, guys, once we get to, uh, 95, I already took some games off the list for 94 and 93, just like absolute dog shit games. And, uh, that weren't even notable. And 95, I'm gonna start getting really picky on the games we play. Like, making sure, because there's gonna be a lot, like, once we get to 95, there's a lot of, like, samey kind of games that we've seen before, you know? So I'll make sure that the, the list is very, like, sick non-stop sick games unless there's like some really infamously bad games that we have to play of course can't skip those Oh, he's already dead! Too much deeps! Didn't he need to get to the other phase? Is it normal that I can't fucking see? Oh yeah, his base was underneath the garbage dump. 
All right, uncharted territory. Let's go, baby. Uh, I have some of the X-Men games on my list. I think I'll save them because I was going to play them co-op. But, uh, yeah, like, if you're worried I missed it, don't, don't be shy and just put it in the suggestion box. Who's this? Is that the hacker? <laughs> You're that creep. Neumann Cascade. Why don't you try this on for s- Oh shit. Uh oh. He teleported us? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? <gasps> the virtual zone? Oh no, Kid Chameleon. I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh oh. Oh shit! Astrology! Horus! I'm going to assume all these have different patterns. Oh! <laughs> Astronomy? I said astrology. <laughs> oh shit, it's uh... I don't know which one this one is. I don't know all the signs. I was gonna say Aries, but I think that's wrong. That's Sagittarius? Sagittarius is October, right? Well, what's going on here? Oh, that's trippy. Oh. Oh, he went in for the kill. Damn. Okay, we learned a lot, though. This is some pretty tough-ass bosses so early in the game. Yeah, man, it's a lot of, like... It's just a lot of intense memorization. Like, every, every level is just, like, so jam-packed, you know? Awesome. So I think grenades are good when we have like a short window to attack. So that junk boss's eye, we have to constantly jump. So that's when we use the grenades. Laser is good, seems like when it's just sustained, like when I can get a good window of shooting for deeps and of course we'll use the spread for uh normal enemies just so we can cover as much areas area of fire as possible you guys remember when konami cock teased the series coming back like a million times they never did Yeah, they did a long, a uh, couple years ago. Chrono, Konami literally had like a teaser trailer with like the Contra theme, and it said Contra or some shit. And then that's it. We never heard about it ever again. At this point, I'm pretty sure they were just advertising a fucking pachinko machine. It was a half-finished game. Yeah, cheats. And didn't uh, Arxis make a, a Contra game? I don't know if it was good. Before you shoot the door to the lair, you can climb the wall. What's the point of that? I'll try that if I die here. Another ending? 
Is it a different ending entirely? Because I want to see like the normal ending first because it's my first playthrough, you know? Okay, then, then we'll do our, our next playthrough. Okay, it seems to be the same pattern. It's not random. Oops, I didn't mean to jump. I meant to slide. Nice. You fought well, fool. But let's see if you can handle what? I didn't read the last thing. Uh oh, what is this shit? Oh, what? He threw a T at me, a Tetris T. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Okay, there's so many patterns and stuff I need to learn. I'll be right back. T for terror. Yeah, Cuphead has some some great boss design. It's really good. Yeah, Cuphead's great. The only thing bad about Cuphead was something about it. Something was bad at launch. Like I think it was either the platforms or it was on. Holy shit! That grazed my hair. Or something about the online play. I don't know what it was. But now that we have Parsec, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Something. There was something bad. I just don't remember what it was. It was so long ago. Oh yeah, for sure, John. Hell yeah, I'll be downloading the soundtrack. I didn't know how godlike it was. I'll be jamming this shit to my sleep. Absolutely. So you guys think it's a good idea we play Resident Evil 1 tomorrow? Are you guys down with that? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to play it. Pretty excited. And then, like I said, for Halloween, <laughs> we knew <laughs> I need to beat that Silent Hill. Want to get a good ending, man? It still bugs me. I can switch weapons during the dialogue. That's cool. We're playing, uh, I'm gonna play the Director's Cut non-DualShock version. I think that's the plan. How old am I gonna be? I think I'm 36 now. I was born in 85. So that means I'm, I'm, I'm 36, right? I'm either 36 or 30. Yeah, I'm 36. I'm pretty sure I'm 36. 36 or 37. Thanks, Lone. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I was playing the slide, but it was too fast. Oh! I got Bulldog. September is a good month for birthdays. It's not bad. It's like right at the near the end of the year, you know, the last quarter, pretty much. So, I'm not as super old as I think I am because it's near the end of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to stand a little bit further, Mac, for that one. No, I lost my weapon. Uh-oh. I lost a bomb or something. And then for Resident Evil, I know we won't be able to probably beat it a night, but I don't know. We'll th I'll think of something to do. I don't want to go completely ham on it because I want to do that when we start our Resident Evil series, but we might play it for like two days straight and then resume to get 94. Because I really want to get 94 done. Like that is our, our mission right now. Get 94 done ASAP. So... Yeah, we'll see what we're doing from there. Because Resident Evil 1... Every Resident Evil game that we play, I want to really... Ace that shit. Like, I want to play different versions. I want to, like, collect costumes. I want to do all the content. I really want to savor that shit. Slide is invincible? Yeah, I know. Thanks. I'm trying to, uh, master the slide. How many games on your list are left for 94? We are, I would say we're like 80% done, Mech. We're like 80% done. Um, there's of course, 80% uh, done for the games that I'm going to stream. There will of course be some games that I won't be streaming that are on the 94 list, but that's irrelevant. We got some PC games coming up too to play. Uh, we already we already beat Earthworm Jim, bro. Mecca, Mecca, you know about my second channel, right? Like it's all on my second channel, all the games we played. We're on retro episode 140. And there's multiple games per episode, so we played like over 400 games by this point. All right. I'm not going to stand too close this time. Okay, I slid too early. Okay. It's on YouTube, bro. Just look below the stream, you'll see the link. Oh yeah, I forgot it. They, they immediately go down the stairs. Okay. Have I already decided a game for the B-Day stream? Uh, yep. I think we're gonna be playing OG Resident Evil 1. It's a game everybody loves. It's super, e super easy to watch and it's... They'll be able to focus on the chat and play. And it's a game that we were planning to play anyways. And it's a game we'll be playing uh, many, many times 
so we might as well get an early head start on it. Or a sneak peek, if you will. Somebody make a Shigen joke? What the hell? Have you played any retro games with chatters or you can't? Uh, not really, no. No, we haven't. I usually have a bunch of goons in our Discord that we play with too, though. It seemed to work out fine. But uh, a lot of you guys are like weird, so you know. Have to be careful. <clears throat> Lots of weebs in here. <laughs> I mean, I, I love it when we play those games where we can all kind of play together. Like when we play the Puzzle God games. Uh, it's great when the entire chat is involved, you know, especially if we haven't seen the game before or don't remember. That's always a blast. And um, also when Street Fighter V, when we, were, when we had the tournaments going, it was awesome playing with you guys, uh, especially on teams. And you guys were like, seriously, you guys were like super polite with each other. I'm surprised. Like when we were playing this the Street Fighter tournaments, like when you guys were randomly assigned, you guys were saying like "GG's, nice try" and all that shit. Like you guys were like on your best behavior. I was very impressed with you guys. So when Street Fighter Six comes out, if they have a tournament mode and a godlike netcode, man, dude, it's gonna be a good fucking year. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna have a good ass year. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I look I look forward to uh, the community that we can build when that game comes out. But at the same time, we're also gonna get a lot of weirdos. So prepare yourselves. The Discord will never be the same. So and and, and the chat might never be the same too. So enjoy it while it lasts. I flinched. Oh! Cheeks! That Taurus is tough, man. No, why did I jump? That was dumb. Oh, I, I would never want uh, max numbers because uh, then I would never be able to read the chat, right? That's not something I want. I don't want to go like full Hollywood. That'd be like worst case scenario. Just want a bigger community, that's all. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want that. I'm not saying that to be like all PR and be Mr. Nice Guy. I'm, I'm dead serious. I, I, I don't want that. I'm already comfortable now, to be honest with you guys. I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want that. Every stranger says they don't want Max's numbers, but they haven't seen his paycheck. Well, I know how much he makes. 
but uh, I'm I'm fine, bro. Um, I, you know, if I if I really wanted like big streamer money and stuff, I wouldn't be playing fighting games. I could, uh, I can cover any game I want, guys. I, I, I wouldn't be covering fighting games if I wanted money, trust me. I could cover a lot of things. I like how no one in the chat has mentioned Apex. Apex is uninstalled, that's why. Still traumatized by that game, bro. They have a balance patch coming up in a week and a half here. We'll see what they do. It goes faster and faster, I see. Oh! I meant to slide there, not jump. I think... I think I'll go grenades next time. Just because the AoE will hit the arrows for me. Or do we even have grenades by this point? Oh, I couldn't slide past them there. What the hell? So I, I was asking this at the beginning of the stream, and I'll ask you guys again. Uh, do you guys have any advice on? Uh, the hell they call a tablet that I can get just to watch like YouTube videos before I go to sleep. Most of you guys just said get an iPad, but I just want to know if there's any other options. This is because of the pain in the ass for me to always like have my laptop on my bed at the charge and shit. And it's big. Very big. A, s a Nintendo Switch? Yeah, everyone just says iPad. Is there any downside to getting an iPad? A Nexus? Is that Samsung? It's Apple. It's a, that's a pretty big con. <laughs> it's Apple. I see. You guys are funny. <laughs> it's fucking Apple. <laughs> but it's not Nintendo, guys. Come on. 
<laughs> you guys are anti apple. Good. Okay, we do have grenades. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, the suggestions. I will check out that Nexus as well. I, I don't want anything fancy, just something that works and isn't shit. <laughs> Now we got this. No! No! Why didn't I slide instead? Ah! It's all falling apart. No. And Jay, when maybe I should take your advice because you are uh, a mobile game enthusiast. Why don't you, Jay? Why don't you play with my brother in League? You could use uh, an extra jungler or something. Yeah, a mobile game enthusiast. That's Jay. Win. Right now, my brother is playing some some champ I haven't seen before in League. She's like some dryads, like some like horse lady. She moves like really fucking fast. My brother says she's like OP right now. He says he's won like five games in a row. He's just like using her nonstop. He says she's broken. Your diamond now? <laughs> That's fucked up. I remember when we were gold, man. The gold strats were too godlike. Street Fighter 6 will be a mobile game, five bones for ten five dollars for ten fireballs for you. Now we're talking, bro. Yeah. Blue boxes with a chance to uh a chance to pull Akuma. I think you got the right idea. I'm down, bro. I wish Contra had PPP. It does. It's called Quake. It's literally Quake, bro. It has like all the same weapons and everything. Okay, this is where I always screw up here, guys. I'm gonna shoot from a side angle this time. Oh shit. Remember when I said I was gonna shoot from a side angle? Cause I need to hit the arrows. The arrows are like the priority. Ah! No! What the fuck was that angle? Okay, it's okay, we got grenades back. Okay. Fucking is this what is this? Gemini? We gotta worry about. These little bastards come after me. They good deeps. Okay, here comes the T. 
Here comes the damn team. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna do. It's a tank! It's a tank! Oh my god! It's literally Gunstar Hero like boss design. T for tank, guys. Oh my god. T for tank. This is one of the best contrasts? Oh, so far, hell yeah. So far, I agree. It's perfect. I think we're gonna have multiple playthroughs on this for sure. Next tank, do you contingency where it starts to? I, I'd rather start at the beginning of the level. King. This level seems short, it seems like just like a big boss battle. Maybe spread will be good for this. Let's try spread. No! 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 too far cheeks uh this game is amazing jeff this is the first time i played it and it might be better than contra 3 bro which is hard to believe this game is already kino it's fucking godlike dude. it's contra on crack it's got Multiple characters with different weapons, different stats, and you have a, there's a slide mechanic with iframe, and it's non-stop mini bosses. The game's jacked, and it's got multiple paths, and no difficulty setting.
All right. Here we go again. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta attack like the front part where the bow is. No. Yes, yes, perfect. Perfect. This is the run, boys. This is the run. This is the run. The deeps? Okay, here we go. Just don't slide into the boss, bro. Good. Good shit. Okay, it's gonna turn into a fucking tank. Ah! Oh! I didn't know it shot that fast. happening what is this it's a helicopter what does it do ah the roller comes after me no i don't know what the fuck is going on thief helicopter dude i don't know what the hell was going on guys oh my god Jeez. It's okay, we made we made a uh, huge progress on the astronomy uh, boss. Because now I know where to stand for uh, I don't know what the hell the bow thing is. Artemis or whatever. Jumps always get you killed. Oh, we're in so much trouble. These arrows are gonna fuck us up so bad. Okay, it's 
salvaged it. For one shot though, boys, one shot. You can just duck it. No! <laughs> you need a slide. No! Oh my god. Dude, I don't know what's harder, man. That stupid tank or blocking Laura's overhead. the ground my positioning was bad there it's not good Blizzard was a good example of greed ruining everything. Uh, that, that's definitely the number one reason. The corporate restructuring and the loss of a lot of talent is another thing though. Nice. Oh, what? That's never happened before. I was too far to the left, I guess. <laughs> World of Diablo. I remember those rumors a long time ago. Yeah, Diablo 4 is in so much trouble, dude. They went through like three lead developers now. I mean, honestly, who cares at that point? Street Fighter 6 will be up by the time that game, that game comes out. It's Ripperoni either way for me. I'm 
Diablo 2, <laughs> Diablo 2 Resurrected might be Blizzard's last good game. It's not even a Blizzard game. This is outsourced. Here we go again. Mm -mm -mm. A fresh paint over a D2? I, I mean, it's more, it's more than that. It's not that one one. If they can, if they can make a ladder system and try to get rid of all the botters and shit, that'd be nice. Have the proper resolution and shit, all that would be very convenient. There's still a lot of people that play D2. A lot of people. And there's a lot of people who haven't played D2 as well. So I think it's a very good, very good choice how they, they made it. No, oh, I'm so screwed without that weapon. They did not touch skills at all or a balance. Yeah, they're trying they're trying to keep it authentic, but they're doing polls to see on the certain spells that are completely useless. And the polls do say that they did they did should balance some of the stuff, but right now the point is just to get the game out as authentic as they can get it. And then they can tweak stuff in the future. That's like the most important thing right now. And there's still a lot of like uh, quality of life improvements they're adding to the game. It's a 20 year old game and it released this month and it still don't have it properly 100% ready. Well, at least they're doing tons of beta tests and they're listening to all the hardcores that still play this game and speedrun the game and all that shit, so it's good. And like I said, it's not Blizzard that's working on it, it's, it's outsourced.
Damn, how did I get hit that? Oh, okay, good. I got it. Ah, oh, I meant to slide. Hey, how did I? Oh, I must have got my weapon back. All right, cause that that guy drops me. Still getting hit by the arrows though. Still not getting that boss right. My positioning is still really bad. Thanks, Satan. Appreciate it, man. I can't wait for Diablo 2, man. I'm fucking pumped. We're gonna go so hard on that. We do some eight man lobbies. We need to get some soldiers. We're gonna have like eight Blizz Sorks. It's gonna be fucking sick. I'm fucking pumped. Dude, like near October, it's gonna be so lit, bro. There's so many, so much good shit to play. Plus, we have Nickelodeon as well. Fuck, dude, it's gonna be so sick. Okay, you're gonna be one of those guys that like everyone's gonna be playing Diablo 2 Resurrected and we're all gonna be like, let's fucking go! Farming Mephisto and shit in your 8-man lobbies and you guys are like, why are you guys having fun? It should be free! <laughs> when everyone's having a fucking party and just enjoying themselves. That's you, bro. You're like that meme. Stop having fun! I'm gonna fuck up here, but I'm gonna try not to fuck up. Just focus on the arrow. Focus on the arrow. Yes. No. Yes, yes. Okay. Jesus. in the middle of the screen. <laughs> that was scary, I almost screwed up there. seems really bad. Oh god, Spread's doing like no deeps. Okay, helicopter time. Oh! 
Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> People enjoy more power to me. I just refuse to buy rehash crap from Blizzard or other huge devs. Yeah, man. I mean, that's good. Vote with your wallet, bro. That's what you want. But I mean, D Diablo 2 Resurrected is what people want. Like, you literally can't please everyone. But that's literally what people wanted. They wanted a one-to-one -one remaster of Diablo 2. And that's what they're getting. So, you are the minority on that one. You gotta, just gotta get be good with your jumps. Like that one, I gotta get to the side, you know, when the helicopter spawns, I gotta get on like the right side of the screen and slide my ass down there, you know? Like this game is like, you gotta really get good with the slides. The jumps is what gets me killed. What I'm what I'm trying to say, 2K, is that the things you're complaining about are the things that people wanted in the first place. That's what I'm trying to say. Shit. Slides are good for evading damage, not dealing damage? Yeah, I never said it was. Right now, the problem is not dealing damage. It's like not getting hit right now. Once I lose this weapon, I'm in big trouble. How about playing the OG Diallo tomorrow? <laughs> Uh no, I, I'd rather play Res. OG Diablo, and eh, I don't think that'll be good for a streaming game for tomorrow. Unless you guys want to see me uh like do potions for the entire day tomorrow, that'd be sick. I think Paul was playing that recently. He was telling me he was learning his duping skills. Damn, I was like in a bad spot there. Alright, focus on arrows. Focus on arrows. Perfect. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Is she getting... Is he in the chat? Dude, that SNK... Apology shit he said that other night, man, was so godlike, bro. He needs to be immortalized. No, oh, he's not in the chat? Fuck. Well, if he is, let me know so I can talk about it. The lulz. Okay, don't get hit from the thing. I always forget about that. No, this might hit me. No, I checkmated myself. Keep forgetting that, guys. The slide to the left. Keep forgetting. And then we gotta somehow remember once we get to the helicopter, we gotta get on the right side of the screen. Oh, by the way, guys, that uh, marinated uh, bagogi pork last night, delicious, delicious. Yeah, 
It was Flavor Town. Yeah, pork chops. Boneless pork chops, too. It's really good. Leftovers. What? What are you guys saying? I'm eating leftovers. What is a slander, guys? Say that Mecca? What the hell? Jesus Christ. You guys make it sound like if you opened up my drawer, you guys would see like a solid four. Come on, guys. No, you wouldn't. Guys, I'm a person just like you guys. Why would I put Coke Zero cans in my with my utensils, Qua? And jackass. What do I always get hit by? Alright. When the T goes, I have to slide to the left. And then the tank, I have to make sure on the left side of the screen. Slide to the left. Tank on the left. And helicopter stay on the right. Here it comes, guys. Oh, I did big deeps. I did big deeps. Shit, I can't hit the tank. That was greedy. I'm not gonna lie, that was fucking greedy. Alright, here comes Helicopter Madness. It's okay. I'm not worried, so you guys shouldn't be worried. Okay. Get my ass on the left side. Get my ass somewhere. No! You piece of shit! Oh, I gained a life! I lost my life. Okay, don't jump over the rotor. I have to slide through it. Slide through it. Just imagine playing this game using no continues. That was me and my brother. Yeah, that's the that's the annoying thing with these really old retro games is there's that arbitrary difficulty of uh, having to 
go through all the time to get back to where you left off just to learn whatever pattern, you know? Yeah, that is definitely the suffering, bro. I mean, it works well for games like this because they're like short but hard, right? So it's like really intense. But some games that are like super long and shit, not having infinite continue is like really annoying. But then, like I said, there's big differences. Like I said, the Japanese version being uh, three hits to die and the anti-blockbuster bullshit. Makes sense for some of these games. That's cool, man. You got to play this when you were young, though. I, I, I was missing out, bro. I'm missing out. I did, did get to experience Contra 3, though. It was awesome mastering that game. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, you spend, like, a good, you know, 20 minutes getting back to where you were, and then something unknown cheap hits you, you know? And you're like, oh, here we go again, you know? But you got to admit, though, when we were kids, though, we had so much patience. You know, like, we were so determined back then. So much time, too. To soldier on. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped for the greedy hit. So much passion back then? Hell yeah, dude. What's this about sports games, H2O? Oh, we got good RNG on where this thing spawned. Sports games took me away. Oh, you mean you, you really like playing sports games? I had some friends that are just like super, just only play sports games, like, you know, like normie friends. We were just talking about this last night though when we were playing Slapshot. How awesome those like Japanese style, like anime style sports games with a twist. Not even Japanese style, there's like I said, there's also NBA Jam and uh, NFL Blitz. Those are American. That was godlike. Alright guys, we gained a life. This could be the run. Not, not. Not going to uh, jinx it. This could be the run. No! No! Oh my god! The puzzle god! No! Smile, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. It looks like it's game over for you. Don't hurt me! I'm just trying to make a buck! It's not personal! Oh my god, this guy works for Blizzard. You can save your sob story for the people at headquarters. Level up. Alright, we have no lives here, so we're gonna have to definitely continue next time. He told us who's in charge. Colonel Bahamut. Oh my god, I should have known it was Colonel Bahamut. I believe you've heard of him. He was a hero who fought during the Alien Wars. <gasps> That's Contra 3. 
but two years ago he planned a coup to overthrow the government. Oh no. The coup d'etat was stopped in time, but the colonel fled. Until now we heard nothing of him. A dangerous man. Alright. I wonder what he's planning to do with that alien cell. Uh oh. Deep in the jungle! This is OG, guys. This is OG. Commence mission. Oh shit. Oh good, we have homing, dude. I haven't seen this gun in forever. I think spread is the way to go though. So, is it these millions of monsters, or are they ever gonna end? Holy shit, dude! God, it's committing genocide here. I can't imagine this on two players. I can't imagine. Dude, I'm taking like baby <laughs> ah! taking baby steps here. Oh no. Dragonflies, shit! Okay, we're gonna continue for sure. We're gonna continue. We need we need three lives for this shit, boys. Alright. Continuing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, dead run. Lock and loaded. All right, boys, let's get our let's get our deeps. Oh my god, they have throwing axes! And sh what the fuck? These guys are jacked. Actually, laser is pretty legit here. It's got the pierce, the piercing we need. Okay, next time laser. Okay. Remember when I said we needed three lives and then we died? That was sick. No! <laughs> we lost our damn laser. Oh, fucking cheeks. Okay, this is Ripperoni. This is Ripperoni, bro. Alright, this level's cracked. This level is cracked. Careful, careful. These enemies, do they give you any points? Like, can I just stand here and farm lives? What happened to the spreader? We uh, continued, so we lost all our weapons. With mini boss now. This is mini boss city, bro. Shit, who the hell is this? Is Satan? What? Okay, when he changes colors, I have to dodge immediately. There's nothing down here? Who's your favorite character? Ah, uh, Raph. 
No, no, I'm dead. I'm screwed. I'm fucking screwed. I'm screwed. Oh my god, I'm okay. We've only played Ray, so this first playthrough is just gonna play him. And then next playthroughs we'll try different fucking characters. Homie's got there. I'm glad you're enjoying my my suffering rap. Wait, why are you guys calling this guy Luke? Because he's got blonde hair? Okay, so far so good. Homie's godlike here. Okay, thank you, dinosaur. Ah! What now? I just fought three mini bosses already, man. Chill out, bro. Jesus. This game doesn't play, bro, at all. You like playing the robot? Oh, he has a double jump? That's so cool. I didn't know there was like a double jump in this game. I have to remember that when we switch characters. Is there any other unique things besides double jump that I should know about when I play the other characters? He juked me, bro. Yeah, I know everyone has uh, different weapons. I'm just curious on uh, things like double jump, things that I might miss when I'm playing different characters. Like if a character has like a run or something, you know. What's up, August? So when you shoot the dinosaur, he shoots back at you? That's so stupid. <laughs> Damn, he's got a lot of health, bro. Oh! She 
lucky bastard. He threw his leg at me. to hit that if you don't have homing. Homing is saving us right now. <laughs> Look at the aim assist. Don't even start Nightmare. Don't even start bro. You guys know the majority of players that get reported on PC and Apex turn out to just be controller players and they thought they were using aimbot? Fun fact. What's happening? Does the game expect me to dodge that? I can't tell, am I even hitting it? I don't know if I'm hitting it, dude. It's not flashing. Don't shoot it. Oh, I got killed by the bottom of the screen. No. No. Okay, we did pretty good, though. If I haven't gone after Dead Eye Joe, this fight would be harder. Yeah, I can't wait to see the different paths, bro. We need to get this starting down. The hard part is uh, the weapon. Maybe I'll try getting the homing first and then grab it so I don't have to automatically switch. <laughs> What's up, LR? What's going on, buddy?
Remember, Respawn says the they want Apex Legends to be 90% gunplay, 10% abilities. And they don't like anything that has no counterplay. Because you can counter Bloodhound Scan and Seer's passive. Oh, I jumped a little too much to the, the left. This thing's like dancing and taunting me while killing me. How do you counterplay aim assist and apex? Tap strafe. Oh wait. Also, the person removing tap strafing from Apex, he's a controller player. Imagine my surprise. If I can't have it, nobody can have it. Yeah, dead serious, he's a controller player. Dead serious. I don't understand why don't they just give controller players half straight? Why don't I just have it so everyone can do it? Another thing is, is like. It's not like. People complain about tap strafing. Nobody even knew what tap strafing was. Like the casuals, they have no idea what it is. Oh, I jumped on the roof. I should have did laser in the first place. The only reason they they nerf they're getting rid of tap strafing is either because of uh, octane jump pad or uh, because their people are releasing cool videos like montage videos of using it. Okay, so you guys said don't shoot it here. I'm gonna not go too low because uh, cause I'll get killed by the ball on the screen. Oh! I didn't know this Contra existed. Is it Super Nintendo? No, bro. This is Genesis exclusive. This is the only Contra on Genesis. Okay, we haven't seen this before. Oh shit, this is some Gunstar. This is some Gunstar shit. Nice, good deeps. Is he dead? Nope. Oh, we're hustling. Yeah, he's crawling away. I can't hurt him though. This is a big boss, bro. Oh! Okay, I still got a weapon at least. Whoa! 
Oh, how am I supposed to know that? Come on, bro! Oh, cheeks. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, fuck. That's so cheap, dude. Oh. Beginner's trap. <laughs> That's so fucking cheap. Why you have to do me so dirty like that, man? Fuck, I lost my rhythm. Uh-oh. Yeah, the Genesis growing up, I didn't know about this game. Yeah, and the more I'm learning about Genesis, I'm starting to see like what kind of game library I would technically have. Definitely Gunstar in this game for sure. I played Super C, yeah, we played the arcade version and and the NES version of Contra 2. I played that with Austin, it was hilarious. Okay, good deeps. Now, Super C is Contra 2. Or the second Contra game to come out. Confusing. The arc. <sighs> tried to slide there. The arcade version of uh, Super C is pretty interesting because there's a lot of things in it that they put in Contra 3, like bosses and shit. Uh, yeah, we played Bad Dudes. We played the arcade version and we played the NES version of Bad Dudes. Uh, Karnov's the first boss. And the NES version has a charge punch loot, which is kind of cool. It's alright. The second stage of Bad Dudes has an amazing theme. Uh, there's a, a sequel to Bad Dudes, actually, and it's garbage. We didn't play it on stream.
Let me equip spread just in case I don't lose a good weapon. Yep, you can switch your weapons. Every character has different weapons. And you have A, B, C, and D. There's four weapons per character. And there's bombs. Oh, what? I've never seen that angle before. Oh, fuck. I need to get to the top. No! Okay, we need a backup plan if I fall. If I fall, we're fucked. If you fall, you're fucked. Okay, that was like godlike angles that time. Yeah, I was just talking about that uh, rap on, on using spread. I guess if I clutch, I can switch the spread. But I had no fucking clue that the lasers were gonna come at an angle like that off screen. I think we're gonna play this game for a while tonight, guys. So, uh, in an hour, I'm just gonna take a quick uh, food break here. I'm just gonna heat up some of those uh, barbecue buns I picked up at the Asian supermarket here. And we, can, we can game on here. No, Apex? Apex is uninstalled, guys. Apex has a, a big balance patch coming out in a week and a half. And I'll see how it is. Apparently it's a big Rampart buff. And they're nerfing Watson. Because <laughs> according to their data, Watson has such a high win rate. It's fucking respawn, man. It's so stupid. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. That was scary. Oh, I've never seen this one before. What the fuck? No! What's with these new patterns, man? Yeah, they're nerfing Watson. They're nerfing her hitbox. Watson actually has the best hitbox in the game. Uh, even though it's not as small as Lifeline, or even Wraith, uh... Her upper body hitbox, the part where you do your your normal damage, is the smallest in the game. So when you shoot Watson, you're actually leg shotting her more than you think you are. Why are they gonna nerf my Apex waifu? Because her win rate is too high, according to their data. Because they base data off. A champ that requires in-game money to buy. That nobody really plays. And they compare it against... A, they compare it against legends like Lifeline and Wraith that always hot drop. And they say, hey, our data shows she's too good. The respawn's incompetent. Guys, how did we design games before without data? It must have been impossible, hey? The only way we were able to balance games was to play them. 
which is absolutely ridiculous. Imagine having to have to play your own game. I'm gonna get sliced by that uh, that chopper. Remember back in the day, guys, the the only way to get people to play your game. And keep playing your game was to make it good. Dude, that was so hard back then, man. Now we got skill-based matchmaking. And catering to casual. That's the only way. Imagine putting in time to be good at a game. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was so unfair. Dude, it, it's so unfair that I have to go into training mode in Street Fighter and actually practice my combos. I don't have time for that. I have a life. I have a life, okay? Street Fighter 6 better just having mashing one button to do combos. That way it's fair for everybody. Oh! No, I don't, I don't want to grab the roof! Wait, it's spinning? Well... If it's spinning... What the fuck am I Oh my god, I have to slide past him. This game needs aim assist badly. Uh, should I tell you how to beat that spot? Uh, let me let me have a little bit more tries, man. I, I want to like, I don't want to ruin the authentic experience, you know. Let me try to figure it out myself. Sands of time? Sands what? Shit! I was reading the chat. Everyone had that one friend who read all the guides and stuff? I loved reading guides and stuff. Yeah, it was Prince of Persia. Yeah, we we call we call uh, save state sands of time. 
for the memes. But I try, I try to use it in the barest possible way I can, without diminishing the, the experience of the game. Or if I get really pissed off on something stupid. We played the first Prince of Persia, and the game was excellent. I didn't think it was that good just like seeing it. Like, obviously, it, it looked very good. But playing it, I was. And once I got like really good at the controls, and you realize why the controls are that way, the game is very good. Excellent. There's actually a Super Nintendo version of Prince of Persia that's very good. They add a lot of levels and shit. It's actually not bad. It's a good port of it. But I haven't played any of like the, the newer Prince of Persia games. A <laughs> warrior within. It's gonna take us forever, bro. We go by year, so. Uh, I think it was a long ass time to get through a year. Ever since we hit 1993, it was brutal. But like I said, once we get to 95, we'll be very picky on the games that we play. We sometimes break the rules though when the chat gets uh, impatient. You guys excited for tomorrow? I think tomorrow is going to be a hoot. Oops, I did not mean to slide. Yeah, the chat becomes restless. You guys start losing your marbles. There's another Vanguard beta this weekend? For PC, Hennessy? Don't tease me. You wouldn't do your boy like that, bro. Don't play Hennessy. Fuck, but I have to pre-order the game, don't I? Fucking Activision's got me by the balls. Maybe. I don't know. Shit, I don't have laser. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys keep posting that Shigen quote. You guys love that quote, hey? <laughs> you guys are fucking funny, man. Can't wait till KOF comes out and we talk shit about it. So many people are gonna get so much, so angry. No! Why didn't I use spread? That was so stupid. Yeah, definitely spread for this phase. That was foolish. Okay, we got one life to like understand how to dodge this uh, fucking Sith laser. Okay, we either dodge to the left or the right. I'm probably left first. No, but we have to dodge to the right. We have to dodge past him. Uh. Guys, my uh, stomach is rumbling rumbling right now. I think once we get some food, we're going to be cr we're going to be cracked. Once I get my breakfast. 
I think that's what's holding me back right now. I need that brain fuel. Going to a food coma? It's not like I'm eating a donair. A jumbo donair. Loaded. I hate how most of the quotes in the chat make me sound like some crazy elitist. How am I an elitist? What are you guys talking about? I literally teach fighting games for a living. How the fuck does that make me an elitist? I'm a philosopher, if anything. Okay, good deeps. What's the point of it flying in the air like this? What the hell is this part for? Okay, we're we are in awesome shape here. This is good. This is this is the run. Careful. Careful. Good, we're jacked. We got every weapon. This is the run. I just gotta remember to use spread when it goes into missile phase. Oh my god, my stomach is just rumbling, guys. We might have to eat a little early here. I don't know how much more I can take this. What was that sniper shot? Did you guys see that? Why did I deserve it? Can this even hurt me? It looks like it went right through me. I don't really want to find out. Oh, you can get killed by it? Okay. Alright, spread. Spread. 
Prete. Guys, think about how Shigen would feel if he knew you guys were spamming his quote over 50 times today without him being around. It's not very nice, guys. SNK fans have feelings too, guys. They just don't have taste, but they have feelings. Damn bouncy seesaw shit! Oh! Oh, cheeks! We did it! We're the best! Wait, what? We're finding another boss? <gasps> this is the end for you. Holy shit! Damn, it's a trap! <gasps> oh my god, Dr. Wily was in on it? Just as we planned, Colonel. Doctor, what's going on? The doctor has been assisting us. He's defective. I'm sick and tired of this weakling government. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no. He's too plugged in. Now I can carry on with my dark experiments. Oh my god. He's an evil doctor. Why wow, you treacherous little bish. There is no way to escape. You must surrender peacefully. <gasps> surrender and fight later. No, we have to always pick the top option. Fight to the end. You poor fool. You and I will be prey for my experiments. Uh oh. Holy shit, he's in a seat! Shit's going down. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! A fucking warning? Chimeras? Yeah, I guess you guys are right, it is Chimeras. Absolute cheeks! Oh, fuck! Oh, God! All right. I now know not to stand in the fucking middle. We got aim assist right now. What the hell was that? Okay, we're in trouble.
was I supposed to know he's gonna shoot homing beams at me, man? What's this DBZ shit? He's making his own Pokemon? I think so. I think you're right, bro. Foul beast awaits me. Fuck. And bullet hell bullshit. Damn, how much health did that guy have? What the fuck? What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? You're using the weakest weapon? King, take a guess why you think I'm using this weapon. Even though it's the weakest. I'll give you a hint. It's like I'm using controller. Suck it up. What do you mean? I wasn't complaining about the damage I was doing. Oh shit. Oh, you're talking about the floating guy? Because I was saying he had so much health? He was alive for a long time. Okay, how many combinations are there? Oh! Is the machine malfunctioning? What the fuck is this? Oh, it took him! It took his master! Oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, oh, oh! Cheeks! Ah, ah! That's spoilers, King. Go away.
How are you supposed to figure that out? Anyways, that's awesome. Okay, this one... We want to be underneath him. But we also have to, like, dock, too. You don't get a big window to attack him. What the cheeks?! Oh, fudge! Ah! Okay, that didn't go according to plan. T-bagged at the end? I didn't notice. Did he T-bag me, that little bastard? What's with this game in T's? I kill homie! It's okay, I put him out of his misery. He was an abomination. No, Azrati. He was seeking the true death. And I was happy to oblige. scheme to stay still and I couldn't duck. Okay, that boss is whack.
And the music's great. I'm jacked! Hey, I didn't get laser this time. Whoa! He insta died! The deeps! Oh my god! These, the deeps is out of control. Oh, I can hit it through the legs! I'm cracked! Yo, this is OP! Oh, fuck! I should've slide! Uh-oh. Not good. No! Yes! Level up. We did it. We're the best. Nani? You can't run any further, Colonel Bahamut. A bit more time and I would have created the ultimate bioweapon. Terrible news. The alien cell has broken free. It's running amok and threatening the entire headquarters. Nani? It was stupid to proceed without the doctor. Uh oh. Oh no! They're mutating! I like that there's a storyline in this game, it's awesome. But then again, Contra 3 probably had the greatest storyline in gaming history. Aliens are attacking. We must attack aggressively. And that's it. Probably the best storyline ever. What the fuck is that? Okay, we'll definitely continue here. For sure. Jesus Christ. No, honey deeps. What now? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, bomb doesn't give you iframes? <laughs> My eyes. Uh. Are we even halfway through the game yet, guys? Oh. Close? Close to halfway? Spoilers? Almost 10% in. Shut up. Uh, close to the end. Okay, I'm gonna let me uh, heat up some food here. Okay, I'll be right back. Give me uh, three minutes. Hey guys.
Willy was assaulting me with his uh <laughs> his League of Legends stories. He was telling me how bad his teammates were. Every time I come upstairs to like grab some food or a drink, Willy always has like a League story for me. Make sure I get these weapons here. It's gonna inch forward. No! That part is so tough if you if you just had your normal weapon. He's a giant foot that shoots out a little foot. Who thinks of this shit? Oh! These bastards. This is an homage. Is Austin in the chat? I still remember when we were playing Contra 2 on arcade and we had to deal with this shit. <laughs> we were abusing Sands of Time like crazy. We were going insane. Remember then the game kept on bugging because of it? <laughs> and we're like, we're gonna finish this tonight! It was so crazy. It was so funny. Hey, this boss is kind of an homage to that face thing. Dude, it was the alien war, bro. There's like enemies that literally look like aliens. We're like, when did Alien come out? It was like two years before. It was like so plain. Oh, this boss is literally a copy of the face. It has like the exact same attacks. Oh, what's this? You can't slide it. It wants us to jump through it. Except in the in Contra 3, these orbs fell down way faster. Like way faster. I'm assuming I have to go on the roof for this. I can't even reach the roof. I, I started to realize what was about to happen, so I used my bomb. I started to realize, wait a second, this shit's going really fast. Oh, dude, this is just like Contra 3, the same like level layout. Little difference, like the ledges here, but... This is sick. I know it's early, guys, but uh, this game is fucking Dino. If I had to play this game uh, for my birthday tomorrow, I wouldn't complain. Oh, do I have to go on here? Nope. So in Contra 3, this was like the last boss. Holy shit! What the fuck is that thing? Spread is actually pretty good here. Was pretty good here. There is so much shit on the screen. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Oh my god. Looks cool. <laughs> Go away, Qua. And Qua, you're lucky you don't have to play this with me. But you and me should play this game sometime. It might even better have been Super Double Drake. <laughs> Looks hard. Hardcore. 
Guys, we don't talk about Wong the Raccoon. You heard you talking shit last night? We talked a lot of shit. A sheet. No, I got hit the same way. Okay, that one's definitely a, a slide. Oh God, we might have to speed run this shit. Never mind. Anti speed run. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this the uh, well, I guess it's 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 an homage, but it also makes sense because they captured the aliens, so they're gonna have similar enemies to Contra Three during the Alien War, and this game takes place in the same timeline, or five years after Contra Three. I didn't move far enough left. On the bright side, we had no weapons to lose. Holy shit. Save my bomb for the last boss. I don't know if I'll make it though. <laughs> blast processing right here. There's a lot of blast and there's a lot of processing. Actually, I see a spread for this one. Shit, they can jump to the other side? Did not anticipate that.
Oh god, he trots in the chat. Fuck me. No, I didn't want to use my bomb! Fuck, e -trot tilted me, bro. Fuck. I have to focus. Doesn't matter who's in the chat right now. How am I supposed to dodge that? Oh, that spread? Uh oh. Oh, fucking cheeks. Oh. That one, you need a bomb for sure, bro. That's the final boss from the first one, too? No, the final boss in the first one's a heart, noob. Big Contra fan. You probably didn't know Oro was a charge character. Stomped on by the foot. The foot. Too. Okay, let me go grab my food. BRB again. Alright, back to this shit. <clears throat> we wear Castlevania? No. I saw you asking Mecca if I played uh, the Castlevania 1 remake for the PlayStation. It first came out for this uh, weird Panasonic console, but yeah, we did play it actually. We played the authentic Panasonic version too. And we played the PlayStation version as well. Hey Pink Boss, how you been bro? Yo, I haven't seen you in a while man. Are you happy that the Metal Gear Saga is complete? We still have one more, bro. We still have one more. We haven't finished this series until we play this one called Metal Gear Survive. And Death Stranding. Yo, Mecha. Are you there, bro? Just keep keep in mind, Mecha, that like when you when you go to my second channel, the first like hundred or so episodes, uh, because I was playing so much retro back then, every episode has like can have like a five or six games in one episode. So like, what I'm trying to say is you won't see all the games that I play until you click on the video and look in the description. I I write down every game in the description. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for a specific game. You might have to tediously uh, look through the description of all the videos. But after like episode 100, then I then I upload one game at a time. I just didn't do it before because in the 80s we went through so many games, right? Because so many games were like repetitive back then, like Pong and shit, Pong, Pac-Man, you know, Donkey Kong. There was no point of having, like, one episode. Did I play Peace Walker? You bet your ass I did. We even killed some monsters. Did 5 and Revengeance get uploaded on YouTube? You bet. All the Metal Gear playthroughs are now uploaded, Big Boss. Sad I missed these playthroughs live. Yo, Mega, did you find my stream through Retro or did you find it through Street Fighter?
Don't tell me I was from Kirby's Dream Course. <clears throat> okay, you found me through Street Fighter, okay. I don't know if there's anyone in the chat that has found me through Retro. They're the only ones that are unpainted. But yeah, during the when we first started this retro streaming thing, getting a lot of these old games to work, were, it was brutal. My cousins helped me with the emulation stuff, and uh, like I said, it was a uh, it was madness. Kirby's Dream Course has the biggest influx of many viewers. Well, we played uh, some of the hardest things, Mecha, was the laser disc games. The laser disc games were insane. And not just like the popular stuff, like. Like uh, Dragon Quest and shit. Like. Some super tough ones. Like these, like, obscure uh, ones from Japan and shit. And I know a lot of those Laserdisc games were reported to, like, the Wii and stuff, but we wanted to get that authentic uh, arcade experience. such a good weapon. Bubsy? Wasn't that for the Jaguar? I think that's on my list, but I don't think Bubsy is till 95. Pretty sure Bubsy's Jaguar. Could be wrong. There's I'm getting I'm getting the 3DO and Jaguar ready soon. I think we're gonna start it maybe even this week. Uh there's one game I really want to play, a fighting game called uh Way of the Warrior or some shit. It's Naughty Dog's first game. And uh the only problem is I don't think we can stream it because the entire, uh, the composer for the game is literally White Zombie. So it's DMC, DMCA Nation. So, unless I can, unless there's a way to turn down the, turn the music off in the game, and then we can play our own tunes, that's like the only way I can stream it. I don't know if there's a way to turn off the music. I, I, I haven't got it set up yet. Bubsy apparently came out in 93 and second in 94. Then it must be on my whack log. Then we can find it then. No, I tried using the bomb. Yeah, I killed the arms though with the bomb. Oh shit!
my cheeks! Be right back one sec. We'll have the music set to 10, then that'll be the last time you guys see me on Twitch. What if it's the PC version of Metal Gear Solid 5 and there is no volume control? <laughs> what then? All right. How many endings are we going for? Spoilers. But all of them. Oh my god! Didn't mean to slide. I don't wanna lose his weapon, it's too godlike. Wait, what? Nice. Let's try homing here and see how that goes. Might be too weak. Yeah, it's way, way too weak. Grenades are not bad, though. Okay, this is the first time, uh... This is the first time we had pipe bombs. Pineapples for this shit. Insane deeps. Not 
sure what I'm supposed to do on that one. No, I didn't slide. What do we have left? Spread? No, he dropped his balls on me, man. I don't know how I dodged the first form. I gotta equip a weaker weapon just to make sure I don't lose the pineapples. How are you guys talking about the chat? Jeez. No, you again. Hey man, we played Sonic Pinball, so you got to see something. Spread is the way to go. <sighs> Spread is definitely the way to go. Still have laser though.
Cheats! Good deeps. Okay, uno más. No, not this one. Okay, thank God. What's this? Oh, thank God. Yeah, okay, that, that level was rock hard. Rock hard. <gasps> it looks like I lost this time, but I will be back. Next time we meet, the outcome will be far different. I'll take you on any time. Dude, that's badass. Next time we meet, the outcome will be different. I wonder what he meant by that. So, was it Kino? You bet your ass it was Kino. What is the next Contra game? We'll be playing this game for a while. We got, I want to see all the paths and all that, because this game is sick. Uh, the next Contra game, I think, is the one for PlayStation. I'm pretty sure that was the next Contra game that was made. This game was amazing. I can't believe it lived up to the hype. Peak Konami. I'm almost offended it was on the Genesis. And didn't come out for the Super Nintendo. PlayStation had a Contra game? Yeah, it did. But we get to learn a new character and try a different path. Better than Kid Chameleon, I mean, that's not hard, guys. Hardcore. See you next mission. There's no like save file in this game, right? We can see the best ending by just playing it on our first first time. Koala cool, still traumatized by Lost Vikings. Is that supposed to be a 3D C? I think it is. That's our final score. Can we just farm those enemies in the jungle to get max score though? Isn't that like super cheap? Yeah, that's gonna change. Alright, we're playing this again now. We're gonna beat this with all the characters. So next character is uh this lady. I don't know what her name is. Apparently Ray is the worst character of the game. The Ryu. The most rounded character was the worst character. So we'll see what she specializes in. If we're going by retro tropes, I would say she excels in speed. I don't know, we'll see. And we're gonna take all the bottom paths this time. And then we'll then we'll go back and forth with the other two characters. So we'll really try to like you know hit all the notes, so to speak. Mm -hmm. King says she is the most rounded in his opinion. Well, you're wrong. Alright, let's try this out. Sheena. Alright, so far the story is the same. Yo, what's up, Link? I wonder if my default weapon is different. Oh my god!
she feels faster, but we play Resident Evil, which is a very slow game, so I can't quite tell. No! What a bad start. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, and it ref Oh my god. This is like spread on crap. And it's homing? What the hell? Those weapons jack. Cherry seems really good. So Matsuda. My eyes. Okay, what do we got here? Volley grenades. This looks like the deeps. And a big laser. Lots of laser beams. That's not an unmanned robot. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You can call me Dead Eye Joe. Nice. The research. Okay, we're gonna go to the research center this time, guys. We're gonna choose the other path. What should I do? Rescue the research center. Yeah, her weapons are pretty sick. Oh, we're still on a bike, though. At this speed, we'll never get there on time. Whoa! That's crazy. The air police? Oh my god.
The game is keen though. Oh shit. So many Contra 3 stuff in here. What's going on? He's got so much health. Nice. Oh my god, we're spinning. Turbulence. Oh shit. No, it's just lit. Rats, we took one. We're going down. It'll be a. I think he said rough landing. I don't remember. Uh oh. Nice, got my weapon back. Damn, we just destroyed the base. Hey, it's Dr. Wiley. Are you okay? I'm fine. But you must stop them. They're after the alien cell. Alien cell? We got it from the mother alien in the alien wars five years ago. That's Contra 3. It's very dangerous, so we're keeping a close eye on it. So the rampaging robot was just a clever diversion? Like so crap. Oh, what's this? You can upgrade your 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 basic weapon? Or is that only if you have all weapons? I never even got this with my character with Ray. What is this? Is this Jack? Oh no, I'm too late. Oh shit. What is he doing? I don't know what that's gonna do. Yeah, okay, he attacks the corners. Or, what? I had no idea what that boss was doing. I had no idea what that boss was about. Alright. He, he attacked the sides, but then he also uh, attacked the middle area, too. Who's hyper Nickelodeon? We all are, Bunky. We all are. Yo, did you guys see that? Uh, I don't know if you guys watched that, that $10,000 money match on Marvel with Jay Wong. But there was like a tweet that the roundhouse guy said that Jay Wong got lucky. <laughs> I don't know if it's just fake hype shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Resident Sleeper. I'll see you in October, FC. See you in October, bro. Who you meaning? How to get all that money? I don't know, people just donated that. Does Ray have an upgraded A? I swear he doesn't. I'm so confused. Or maybe he did. Um, let me think. Spread, homing, the grenade, and laser. I guess he did. I just never... 
never paid attention that it was the A being upgraded. I wonder if this is like damaging. Oh, that hurts me too. Okay, he drops it and then stuff falls in the center. Okay, and then I have to focus on killing the orange things. <laughs> My eyes. Well, anyways, after this dude lost a first to 15, he technically only won like two times, and like Justin felt sorry for him and gave him some wins. Because Justin looked bored out of his mind. And Justin gave him a few games. So the guy gets, there's, it, the final score was 15 5. And he said Justin got lucky. What the fuck does that even mean? Lucky what? That he lost? Luckily, they found a money match for 10 grand. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so confused. Like, I have to hug the side. What's going on? It's just like, it's not even coming towards me. He's getting angry, though. Oh my god, my eyes. Alright, we died once. We can live with that. Three days later. Okay, so this is gonna change some of the bosses now. This went to the lab version. You've identified the hacker. It's the same dude. Oh, this stage again. Alright, don't worry, I've mastered this stage. And by mastered, I mean I forgot everything. Oh, shit. I didn't expect that guy to come out. Duck that shit. Oh shit. No, I completely fucking forgot at the duck. Hmm, all of these weapons are kind of bad for her for this fight. Ripperoni. 
Yeah, I can't lose my homie for that fight, or we're in serious trouble. She doesn't have the right angle to hit his head. Oops. Grenades are good for this. I'd rather save the grenades for the boss, the last boss. I love them. I know there's an easter egg up here, but we'll still continue to just play the normal path. <laughs> You're that creep. Alright. It's the path to the bonus inning? Yeah, that's what Stone told me before. Nice. Oh yeah, this weapon's super good for this. Like super, super good. Now it's free. Ah, I couldn't fucking dash through it. Nice. Alright, here we go again. Fucking tank. Is the most damaging weapon? Okay. Damn, King, you're like the backseating god right now, bro. You like this game too? Looks like it's game over for you. All right, that's good. Mm. 
Oh, you're the, the wussy version king. The wussy version. Alright, so far no differences on that level that I think I saw. Oh, this is the your hell stage. Pop the sands? Oh, I don't know. Oh, we're about to find out. Shoot the dinosaur. You'll get angry. Fish. All right, see if I pop the sands correctly. No, I didn't. Okay, it's okay. I could just use a continuous fire. I forgot to pop sands. I know enough about the game that I can I can beat it legit. I think, but just as a precaution. This covers like way more area, but I think it's just a slightly weaker than the homing array. Do I have no laser? That sucks. Even it did it kill about the same time as the laser, honestly. Laser would have been a little bit better for this for this form here.
Nice, good deeps. I don't know what happens if I don't kill it fast enough here. Okay, good. Scary. This weapon is good damage. Alright, let's go all my weapons back. Okay, so we've never fought this phase. The chat told me it's different now, it's harder. Because I didn't go take the top half, so we'll see what happens here. So we meet again. This place will be your graveyard. I like how the second player can join in whenever, that's awesome. Alright, let's do this helicopter part. Oh shit. It seems just like he banks a little bit faster. It's just a little harder to dodge. This just seems like just a little harder. Oh, this is different. Oh, never mind. It's just gonna bank now. He's doing that. Well, then what's the difference then, King? It still looked faster even when I wasn't shooting him. Supposed to be different. Yeah, but you didn't answer my question, King. What's the difference? Oh, he shoots missiles here, that's the word. I'm gonna have to look, look it up later on what the exact differences are. Damn, I, I thought he didn't know he does two reps, I forgot. Oops, forgot to jump. Oh, standing too close. Standing too close.
game seems like the ultimate knowledge check. Yeah, all the Contra games are like that. Like memorizing the patterns and stuff. This game has like a, a cool twist though. So when you change the path, there's some slight differences, which is awesome. It'll be once we do our our first like once we beat our first playthrough today, it'll be easier with the other characters because uh now I have it like just in my recent memory. You know what I mean? Cause we we're playing Resident Evil yesterday, so I forgot some things. Sub Zerker. A lot of like retro games are like that, where you have to memorize a lot of patterns and learn them and stuff, which is awesome. Which, which is what makes them good, though, from any other game is like what the variety of it, you know. And with this game having different weapons, a lot of opportunity for using different weapons at different moments and optimizing it and shit. A lot of cool opportunities. It's really good. slide to It's Joe. Can't wait to play this on two player as well. It's gonna be fun. She has so many power weapons, like her A, B, and C are all powerful weapons. Fuck, I saw it, I saw the angle. I had no iframes when I wanted to jump. It's 
Okay, we gained a life too. Give me points. Nice. I must have had him really low on, on our first time. Like, he must have been super low. Console aim assist. <laughs> yeah, I think we have one more decision too that coming up. <laughs> this is the end for you. Uh oh. Oh yeah, we're supposed to now. We're supposed to surrender. Just as we planned, Colonel. <laughs> assisting us. Weakling government. <laughs> Treacherous little. Okay, surrender and fight later. Take them. Oh, wow. We're on a prison train. He even has a military train. You are pathetic. Take these and get out. What? Don't misunderstand. I am only freeing you in order to destroy you? I'll be there watch you draw your last breath? What the hell? Yo, this storyline is crap. Storyline is too keen. Yeah, just just send it to me in the in the Discord ping. I won't remember to check the chat. But thanks. Okay, yeah, what's going on here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ay, I didn't mean to slide. Oh. That was weird. Okay. That was a cool mini boss. No! Okay, I have to remember that. Grab my weapons. He wants yeah, he said I got he said I got lucky. Dead eye Joe. Got super lucky. He wants a rematch. this Whoa, what am I aiming at? Oh, it can shoot itself. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. 
this is what I mean by like variety of different things, you know. This that's an awesome idea. Have it shoot itself. Who the hell is this? Is like a Gunstar boss. Holy shit, he's huge. Oh! Okay. Oh, he's walking up to me. Oh, I didn't know what he was doing. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. The party balloons? Yeah, they made me they made me fall on my ass. Yeah, you, sh you gave us the shimmy, Kevlini. That's exactly what that was. Okay, I gotta remember uh, not to lose those weapons. Once we get on the train. I think I got lucky on this. This one I haven't really... Yeah. Should've dropped down instead. Can these guys hit me? No, oh, okay. I can just jump on this one. Yeah, this is where I have to be careful not to shoot. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of Gunstar kind of patterns and bosses in this game, for sure. Absolutely. The other one was a B, so I don't think we missed much. This section should be easier now that I have a D. He's missing. Oh, the slide. I did it a second too late. I gotta keep my grenades for the boss so I have some deeps here. Gunstar is basically Sega's Contra anyway, so I'm not surprised they use another a lot of elements from it. Is it the water balloons? I didn't mean to slide there. I meant to jump. Oh, you can't duck it? Oh, I need to see if I can duck it. No, I could have ducked it. I just, I just died. I just must have slid by accident. Or the problem is I need to get there in like a healthy shape. I'm not getting there. 
I'm doing there like after dying like twice. Why do the guards have no guns? <laughs> Are these prisoners? Oh, that guy had a gun. Can't, you can't descend fast enough. Like you have to, you have to anticipate it. This fight is is tougher than the than the boss, in my opinion. Than the boss at the end. Oh, I missed them both. It was A B though. I had both those weapons. I think I have to choose basically one. I tried to uh, swoop it and grab the A and then move to the B, but they fall too fast for that. So. Did I Joe took their guns because he wanted me to he wanted to be the one to kill me? The storyline's key note. I'm gonna use the homing. I meant to slide, not jump. Damn, dude, that happens to me a lot. He just ran away. Oh! Oh, Contra's the bomb, bro. The bomb. Okay, what's this? Uh-oh. This is, this is different. Oh, wow. What a death animation. Yes, weapons, please. Oh no! Mini boss. Yeah. Oh, it's Joe! The time has come to meet your make. Oh yeah, because we killed Joe when he was in the mech on that alternate pass, so now we have to fight him here. See what he does. Wow. 
I need a laser for this, I think. Yeah, that one was tough. Without a laser there, I don't do enough damage. Yeah, the bottom path feels way harder than the top path. Harder than the foot boss? <laughs> nice. The big foot boss that shoots out another foot as ready? That was fucking close. I don't know what's gonna do, so I'm just standing there just watching. Those true footsies? Foot into footsies? Nani! You've lost, now give it up. Ugh. Oh shit, worthless fool. I do not have time for losers like him. Oh my god, he jumped on him. You treacherous scum. Meet me on the top floor for the ultimate battle. What the fuck? Ah, Colonel, please stop. Dude, this guy's like betraying everyone. You should see the damage your research has done. No, no, no! <laughs> oh, fuck. Man. Oh, shit. Oh, geometry boss. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, the, dude, the... It's hilarious how much harder the bottom path is than the top. Oh my god. Hopefully it gives me a checkpoint. Let's see where it starts me. Starts me where? Oh yeah, in the middle, I guess. But now I have no gun, though. These bosses are so much tougher on the bottom path. Whoops! <laughs> Oops! I forgot he was the one that transforms in this boss. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. We're, dude, without our weapon, we're in so fucked. I feel like I'm playing a shoot 'em up. Where if you die, you're fucked. Oh, that's a wash for sure. Alright. Tons of memorization. The first memorization is remembering the Doctor Transforms. Try the slide. So it goes, it goes. It 
does three different jumps. There's like just the AoE one, then there's one. It does two jumps. Okay, two jumps. So I, that's the one that hits me. Just gotta pay attention to that one. The AoE one's pretty easy to dodge. Please stop. Oh, the lines don't hurt me. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. The lines don't hurt me? That's weird. Alright. That makes it, like, way easier. It's like a spider web? What do you, what do you mean, King? It should be easier now. Did I see the Nick All Stars wave dash? Yeah, I saw it all, Mega. It was pretty crazy, dude. I'm like intimidated by that game now. There's gonna be so many good players at it, man. I'm gonna get my ass destroyed in that game. Like a spider moves on a web. I know, but what's your point, King? Like, what are you, what are you trying to say? Or is that is your point? You're, you just realize it's a spider now? Spider webs don't hurt, I guess? That doesn't make any sense. Just because it acts like a spider doesn't mean it doesn't hurt you. It's not like a white, cotton kind of web. It's like a yellow laser looking thing. Yeah, spider webs also stick. Yeah, you can't use the real life logic and just say that's the case. Still a tough boss. There's a spiderweb boss in Mega Man X, and the lines do hurt you. Oh shit, I shouldn't have jumped. I didn't realize the ground one was gonna go along the floor. Why are we talking about spiderwebs? I don't know. I was I thought King was gonna try to tell me some big brain shit, but then he told me the sky is blue, so I got confused. Oh, I forgot it stays. This boss is so tough. It's harder than the last boss. But then again, I don't have any weapons, so... That's not gonna make it any easier. Give me a little bastard. No, I didn't think it would reach me. I didn't even bother trying to slide. I didn't even bother, bro. Holy shit, he dies. King still talk about the webs, man. 
Yeah, I think you're right. I think the webs don't hurt you, Omega X. There was one game where it does, but still, nonetheless, sky is blue. There's no way I could have known the web doesn't hurt me unless I tried. I must admit that I am shocked that you've made it this far. But it seems you are too late. The plans have been realized. Wait, I've joined my spirit with the corporal. Oh, what the? He he joined himself. Did this happen before? The ultimate super beam. <laughs> no, this did not happen before. Oh my god! Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Eighty-eight. What the fuck? Three, two, one into eighty-eight. Oh, I tried to slide past him, bro. Feels bad, man. Man, even that far away attracts you. Okay, I have to respect it, no matter what range. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself so we can restart. No matter what range is that, I have to respect it. It, it like, I don't know, it feels like it just has different distances every time. So I'm just gonna respect it. It stops if it touches the borders. I mean, the AO, the AO wins, yeah, but if that's irrelevant, it, since it tracks me. The active, the active frames make it fucking tough too when I dash past it. Yeah, this this is the hardest boss in the game by far. By far, harder than the last boss. But once again, I know I don't have any weapons, which makes it even harder. Honestly, I shouldn't have hit the continue. I should have popped the sands and started from the very beginning of the level. I think that would have been easier overall, so then I would have kept my weapons, you know? Fucking active frames, bro. Oh, dude, the one time it shoots from the bottom, the one time it made it out. Usually, it go away, but fuck, man. Chap. I'm dead. I can't control when to stop my slide, so... I was, from where I was standing, I was, that was checkmate. Ugh, this boss is too hard. This boss is way too hard. But, the more we retry, we'll get better at it. Gonna get my positioning better. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't give me a timer for that one, asshole. Whereas the two players, I don't have any friends that are like good enough to like hang with me, Zach. Every time I play like these tough games with co-op, it just feels bad, man. I'm still traumatized with playing with Sonic in uh, Final Fight 2. Oh, that was 
bad RNG, bro. Like, I can... Quan's not bad, but... We like it would it would just like make it so much longer than it has to be, you know? It's better that it's just me. But I'll play this game co-op once. Shit, checkmate. There's gotta be a better way to do it, besides sliding. For the checkmate situation. I think I should just grab the wall and just pray. Hey, it bounced three times. I guess because of that angle, it bounced three times. That's so unlucky. up tomorrow for the Sony show? No. Nope. I'm just gonna wake up and then I'm gonna stream it when I wake up. I'll watch it on my own time. I mean, I don't even have a place to do five. I've had so many opportunities to get one. I don't give a shit. Doesn't mean the news ain't won't be exciting, though. I hope there's some good shit. Getting some good RNG on his location on this one. No! Fuck! I knew I was gonna get hit right there. Should be dead soon though. Not bad. That was an improvement. I only died once. Sup, Mockery? requires me to Ugh, too much power can't maintain Ugh. that's me when I start using controller and apex God, balloons.
had it on the wrong control scheme. I had it on fucking stay still to move and I did a slide. No. Fuck. Good RNG, boys. Good RNG. This boss is still harder than that other boss, man. It's still harder. No, that's checkmate. I don't even know how I'm supposed to dodge that at that point. That was definitely checkmate. Yeah, one death again. Okay, it's the same pattern. Yeah, I guess it's the same pattern. That that pattern's really hard. Like you have to. Aww. Damn. That pattern's really tough. You only get like a second to realize which one it's gonna be. Best is Elena slide under Hadoukens. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Dude. Guy's jacked with health. Still haven't done it without getting hit once yet.
I wonder if those, the hand patterns are random, but we're gonna find out real soon. No, oh, it's random. Damn, this is puffin'. This is super hard. Have a weapon? No, I don't. Oh, I didn't know what I didn't know what was happening. Okay, it's not random. It's it's very specific positioning when to make the head go a certain way. Oh, okay, so I'll just stay far then. Thanks for the tip. I'll stand far then, then bait it to go after me, then not do the circle. I did slide, but too slow. I'm getting greedy now in the deeps. I want to kill him so fast now. I died a lot to the last phase to figure out, hey man, that's how these games work, bro. You died a lot in the past to tell me in the future how that works to save me time bro you did your part
And just basically don't shoot it when he's close to me. Alright, I still got good thieves weapon. Nice. Nice. Dude, the bottom path is just so much harder. I know I've said it a million times, but it really is. Yeah! We did it! Now let's do it again. So guys, was it Kino? Again? Okay, now we're gonna do top, bottom path. And then bottom top. And then co-op, and then that's it. Help man. Help man. Is that like game tester? What the hell's help man? Nice guy. I'm so confused. Man, this game is so good. It's so good. Next time we do that that uh, that last level on the bottom path build, dude, we're, cont we're continuing from the start, man. Like, fighting that boss without weapons with that spider boss is so insane. Hardcore. See you next mission. Alright, I like this character a little, well, I don't know, Ray kind of, he kind of had his deeps and then he had like the AoE with the spread. I don't know. I didn't think she was as balanced as Ray was. I don't think she had a balanced weapon like Ray did. Here we go again, boys. That's right. Okay. Who's this character? Oh my god! He's a doggo. Werewolf. Bane. Alright. Ah. Oh dude, my using my arm. Oh, I already died. Not good. Right, so kind of weapons I have. Wait, what? It wouldn't let me use my weapon. Go on. That weapon. I don't think I was able to hold it down, or I was charging it, or something. He must have really unique weapons. Because when I got it, I wasn't able to fire, so I must be charging or something like that. No! I wanted to get the other weapon. Okay, what's this? So I can tap it, or I can hold it? Man, it's really hard to test the weapons out with all these fucking idiots running after me. Super powerful at max charge. One shot some weaker bosses. Oh, that's amazing. So this guy's all about the deeps. Just wish I could test this shit. 
<laughs> First level is the hardest level, by far. What is this weapon? Get what we got here. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely for bosses. This max charge. Can you have too much deeps in Contra? Hell no. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why is the first level so hard? Harder than the last level, bro. I'm so annoyed grabbing that D and you don't know you have it, and then you can't fucking fire. Yeah, this is definitely an advanced character. You have to be super aware when you grab new guns. Do you imagine if we started the game out with this character? Holy fuck. Oh, I didn't mean to slide there. Fuck. One shot. Damn, he's dead already. Oops, I didn't mean to use my bomb. Can't wait to see some speedruns with this guy. There's probably some creative, like, combos you can do and shit. Oh, I can't shoot it up? Oh, you can't shoot it up. Okay, that's a huge weakness. I don't get to see his other weapons. A punch? Holy shit, how much damage does this do? And a flamethrower. He has like all close attacks. This is fucking crazy. Holy shit. This guy's jacked. I think I hit him.
Holy shit, he two shot him! Crazy. This guy's jacked out of his mind. Alright. Man, what should I do? Alright, we're going after Dead Eye Joe. Let's go take the top and then the bottom half. I think the normal levels are gonna be tough, but the bosses will be easy. Oh shit. I completely forgot what I was supposed to do there. Like, I completely forgot. Oh. No, dude, I completely forgot this logo. The punch is pretty good on boxes, too. Oops. A little too close there. I didn't even get any extra weapons right now. Uh, alright. Flamethrower doesn't really seem to do that much damage. So I'm already killing this boss by now. Mason, can't get away now, give yourself up. I'm nothing more than a decoy. <laughs> now we don't have to worry about Joe at the end of the game. Blew himself up. Okay. 
Now I think we're back to the motorcycle level. No matter what path we take, we're always on the motorcycle level. I wonder if probably have to use the flamethrower on this level. No. And we need D. Like, that's the main reason you use this dude, is D. Weapon D is just too nuts. Oh, what? I thought since I was lower on the hill, I would have went over and stayed over my head. I was hella wrong. The game is better than Contra 3? Yeah, it is. But Contra 3 is amazing, though. I wanted to get close to the flamethrower. Contra 3... Contra 3 is like... It looks better and it sounds better and it's... And the level design is crazy. It's really good. But this game has so much more like depth in it, right? Another... One bad thing about Contra 3... If I were to choose, it would be the top-down levels are kind of whack. They're not really fun, and they're kind of just annoying. The top-down levels, there's two of them. But this game has a variety of characters with different weapons, so you have weapon variety. It's more depth because you can interchange between them for, uh, for different situations, and there's four rather than two, right? Characters are different. You have alternate paths. You know? So there's just so much. What? Weapon D, I can fly through the stage, but I think the game purposely knows it's fucking too OP. I need that D, Yogs. I need that D. Without it, I'm nothing. This might be good for this boss, we'll see. Yeah, okay, this is fine. I got the B! No D! Piece of sheet. They got blazing chrome. Yeah, it's hard. Like I said, every now and then we'll play some newer games, but most of the time just focusing on retro. Could always use more Contra games, though, that's for damn sure. No, 
Now, speaking of Contra, really tried to hype me up with the rumors for tomorrow. And word on the street, suspiciously, the president of Konami is going to be at the Sony show. I wonder why. Oops, I mean the job, I meant the slide. I think I'm just gonna restart. To formally shut down Konami and hand it over. Sony's like, you wanna buy Bethesda? I'm sorry, you fucking buying Bethesda. To Koji. <laughs> Can you imagine Kojima trying to run a company? Come on, bro. Well, he was talking about it on his stream? <laughs> of course he was. Just get ready for tomorrow. Apologize. Yeah, it seems like the flamethrower is about the same damage as this weapon. Just judging off these enemies. That's, that's not good. And this guy is pretty much just for bosses. I just hope the Sony show will be worth it since it's been holding out on us. I mean, dude, they've been they've been pumping their tires for so long, bro. They better deliver. But if they don't, whatever, fuck. Them. Oh, actually, you know what? When we and Willie were packing uh, boxes and shit, you know what we found? Found my brother's old uh, splitter. So now I can. So now I have a splitter that I can use if we want to stream console now. I don't know if you guys remember, but we couldn't stream uh, PS3 games pretty much because I didn't have a, a totally legit splitter. Because all my uh, old ones broke. Am I done with the Metal Gear series? Okay, and what the fuck does it want me to do then? Damn, no D. Where's the D at, bro? Uh, if they announce Metal Gear Solid 1 uh, Remake... Uh... Just hold on a second. This is so hard to concentrate and talk. Damn, there's too much wind-up on that attack. So I can't- I can't dodge cancel out of it. Anyways, um, if they announce Metal Gear Solid 1 Remake, then we'll play Twin Snakes. There's a couple Metal Gear games we missed, and of course I didn't ace Metal Gear. We'll come back to it someday. Guys, we have too many fucking games, man. There's too many fucking games. Can't play everything.
Welcome to the virtual zone. Oh, I did good deeps. I got straight to tank. Interesting. What happened? What the? What the fuck? What the? What the fuck? I think my USB is fucked. No, it's not my USB. It's something else. Is it my keyboard? No, it is my USB. What the hell? Okay, that was... <laughs> that was messed up. No, that wasn't the emulator. Well, it my USB cord on my PS5 controller is like... Sometimes it gets loose and then it, it went like haywire. It was like... Partly detached from my controller and my emulator was like constantly uh, Like hey, you got your controller plugged in wait what well, you unplugged it wait why do you keep plugging it back in? Did I get a windows update it felt like it All right. Is that Danny Trey? <laughs> I don't know we had to see if he's got a chest tattoo Okay, anyways, the important part is we beat that level. D! Uh oh, we're dead. No! Hey, we still have D though. Wait, there's no homing weapon for this. What? They can hurt you? I didn't even know those guys can hurt you when they spawn out like that. Okay, this level's gonna be tough with this guy. One shot them all. What do I use to stream your old school games? Uh, PC, I'm on PC, bro. Oh, dude, no. Oh, <laughs> my timing was so off. I don't need to like insta kill this boss, so I might as well just play it like chill. Jesus. 
cheeks, bro. Even the game over tune is sick? Oh, hell yeah. And plus you get like a 3D looking C that spins around. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I better order some new uh, USB cords. This normal weapon does okay damage of like you can land all the side hits. Surprisingly, I didn't kill it as fast as I thought I would. I slid too shallow. I was curious how much damage the, the punch does. It does a lot. I was curious. It, it one-shot those guys. That's crazy.
Tell if Ray likes it. So far, is Ray my favorite character out of the three? Now the machine's unmanned. Weapon equipped, this is the most like toughest one. I like this guy the best. No, no, the the first guy, Ray. We played him the other day. He just seemed like the most well-rounded guy. Angle, bro. Oh, I went for deeps. Fuck that angle tilted me, bro. If we get to the last, oh no, we have no punch anymore. We still have the fireball, though. We can still beat this level. It immediately does a full throttle when you hit him with it. Fuck. Well, the more you know. The more you know. Fuck. That sucks. The thing's definitely an advanced character. Angle. No. He 
These weapons are too specific. He's like a speedrunning character. He's like good if you know exactly what you're supposed to do. Well, that's good though, that's like that's what you want. You want characters like this. When you have like four different characters. I don't know who's better. After this stream, I'm gonna check the speed runs and like whoever has the fastest time will probably be the best character. There might be different uh, speeds for different uh, combinations. Oh, I didn't mean to slide there. Oh yeah, for sure, Link. Absolutely. Oh. can do it. That's a good, good imagination on bosses. Like, I don't think Contra is like our big budget games, you know, it just requires an imagination. was that for guys? Is that the last Contra game? I don't know what Konami was caught using uh, Contra a little while ago. Modern consoles as in what? As in 360?
Oh, Xbox One is that new? Come on, what are these bad RNG angles, bro? Dude, that fist does so much damage. It's crazy. I don't even think I can punch the the boss. I don't know what weapon I'm gonna use for this. I guess it depends if I can still hit him while hanging from the roof. Ay, 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 ay. What you watching for? <laughs> Why didn't you ask me if I wanted to come for? Did? What did I say? I don't remember you asking. Okay, so now we surrender. Okay, now that Joe's not here, what happens? Welcome to my headquarters. Is it pleasing to you? You can drop the smirk. I'm gonna trash this place! There's no need for that. Unfortunately for you, my plan is in its final stages. I've transferred all functions to the space station. I'm on a space station now. The headquarters is of no more use. It will soon be detonated. But Colonel, you can't! <laughs> Your existence means less than nothing to me, you flea! Who the fuck talks to his own soldiers like this? Farewell. We'll not meet again. <laughs> Guards are like... But Colonel! Don't move! This is what happens to cowards like you. He's gonna shoot his own soldiers? Oh my god! Holy shit. Oh no, it's an auto scroller! Punch weapon sucks. Oh, cheek. 
Yikes, dude. There we go, the lot continues. Payback time, boys. It's a banger. It's a banger. Yo, it's CD a with the big banger. 25 bomb, bro. Thanks, man. Says uh, my girl just beat me in Tetris Effect six games to six games to one. And I, so I retired to Twitch for the for the night in shame. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for the 25. And uh, sorry to hear about the Tetris. Man. That's embarrassing. Awaits us, hoping not another spider. You're watching Top Gun? You didn't ask me about to watch Top Gun? Jesus. At least I know where I stand now, bro. At the bottom. Yo, what does this guy do? What the fuck happened? The hell boss was that? Uh, that was my birthday. That was good, man. We played uh, Resident Evil. Class of '96 version. We played uh, with Jill. We played for two days. It took us like 12 hours. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun, man. That game is awesome. even duck at all and just let them jump into your shots. weapon in the start of this. And then we gotta watch out for those extendo shit. Who the hell is this guy anyways? Oh my god, dude. He's shooting something. I don't know what it is. I don't want to find out what it is. Uh-oh. 
scroller at the starting that's the doctor in that mech oh yeah I guess he's got the little space cap on can you imagine if they they should have a mode in this game where you, you play all the levels like every level even though it won't make any sense just like one long playthrough just crack Call it hardcore mode. as a spider boss. Spider boss is awesome. He is getting bigger. Okay, I thought he... I, I didn't know if he was. RNG. What? That's bullshit. dead. I knew I was fucking dead as soon as I jumped up that slow. Oh, fuck this. I hate the starting of this level so much. The funny part is, as ready, like, taking the very top path where you fight, actually fight the aliens was the easiest, like, playthrough. Anytime you choose a different decision, it makes the game harder. That was the same enemy that hit us too. The exact same one. There's one that like jumps and can get by my my gun. I have to like memorize which one it is. Here, I think is the one right there. Yeah, the ramp. Okay. 
cheeks, dude. Straight up, see. Yeah, jumping the scene. Okay, I see why it happens because I just let him get the free jump on me. No. Section sucks. What went wrong that time? There's another phase. We're going back to Earth. <gasps> oh no! You've done very admirably, but now you're too late. Big Magnum? Uh oh. Oh my god! Proton Cannon. Holy shit! We really did choose the wrong path. I'll stop you! That was another boss. I have no idea what it's gonna do. Prepare to die. Okay, what does that do? Okay, it shoots a down laser. Sick. Okay, please give me a fucking checkpoint here, please, on my knees. in the boss. Alright. I need to find with no weapons. No, he 
can't even jump up and shoot him after? Holy jeez. Ah! Don't know which one it is, then fuck you. Oh, I moved too far. Vesper doesn't need weapons. Actually, I do. Oh, he hurt himself, yeah, that's cool. Oh, I meant to slide the other way, but I had the other control scheme. I'm like, I'm alternating between the two control schemes like constantly. So I can hit him top right. No sands of time? What do you mean, man? We are using sands of time. No weapons though? Yeah. We Oh we don't we use sands of time just to what's it called? Uh, just to have infinite continues. So we don't have to go all the way back to the back to the starting. We don't use it to like just straight up have an event. If I if I if I arrive in a rough state then that's that's how it's gonna end. That's where we start off. Ready you know, ball. It's not it's not just to be like it's just not for the not for the respect mech. The the whole point is that if you if you just abuse sands and use it just to make the game easier, then you're you're going to uh You're gonna lose out on the experience of the game, you know? Like what I mean is like You're not gonna know actually how hard the game is or And you're not gonna remember anything. You know, if I just play Mega Man and just like constantly spam save state low state, you're not even gonna experience the game at all. And <laughs> you won't really have a like, good experience on it. But you won't remember the game. Like I'll let me uh copy past or something. We should nightbot it too at some point. On um, what I written on Sansa Time, just so people understand like why I use it and how I use it. I wrote something down. Where is it?
You can bot it for now, Bunky. Just so, uh... Hopefully it'll fit in the thing. There we go. Yeah, if you could, Bunky, that'd be sick. Well, another thing too is like they one thing that's really good about sand is it helps you learn the game very fast, right? Because obviously, me starting the game all over again just to get to the part, this part, you know what I mean? Would be it's so time consuming. It's like it's arbitrarily makes it hard, right? Because you you get fewer chances to learn, right? But obviously, it can be abused too. But it helps you learn a game really fast. Oh fuck, I need to grab the weapon. Probably would have been a shit weapon though. Oh, I dropped too late. Bro. Alright, you guys got that set up? Thanks, guys. That'll make it easier for me to explain about how it works. Weapon? 
Don't get greedy. Be patient. The thing is, like, science helps you practice, you know, Mecha? Like, it would be faster using Sans to, to get better at a game than playing it, like, completely good. Like Battletoads, for example, you know? I wanted to do that at some point too, is go back to some of the insanely uh, hard games that we played and then do it completely legit. Which would be nice. I don't think it's rewarding it at all, man. I think it's just a waste of time. Like, I... Like, doing it... It's just such a waste of time. Like, replaying levels that you already mastered. Like, the only reason it was done like that, it was just so that, you know... Block you could blockbuster couldn't get all your money. You had to buy the game, right? So you had more time. That's all it was. It was just a time scale. I think I think using Sans mastery to master the game and then playing and beat it legit would be just as satisfying and you don't waste a month of your time. I think it's the same shit. It's the main thing speedrunners use to master a section. You know? Even though speedrunners are playing on legitimate hardware and you know playing on legit consoles and all that, I mean they're still using sands to master sections and get really good fast and experiment and do all that shit. Yeah, on the final phase variant, when I was, I did slide at first through the thing, but it was it was dangerous. I wonder what the hardest path is so far. That boss was tougher than the one with the heads that come out, because once variant told me you can control how that one works, that boss was easier. But the spider boss was harder. It's really tough to say. I, I think my character made it tough too. Like Fang, like he's definitely an advanced character. You definitely need to know the, exactly what to do with him to fully utilize him. Still a really interesting character though. Okay, this should be the last combination that we haven't done. So we pick uh, bottom first, then top. That's cool how many crazy different levels there are in this game, though. That's awesome. Have I been on the train yet? Yeah. That's, uh, train is double bottom. Double bottom path. With jo that means Joe's still alive. Okay. Alright, final character. It's this robot. Brownie? Brownie? You please have a good set of weapons, man, please. Oh, he's so tiny! And I have a double jump. He's low profile? Yeah, let's call him tiny.
At least he still has a slide. His hitbox, hopefully his hitbox is smaller too. What are these weapons? Oh, it doesn't shoot backwards! What the f Oh, it's like a clock! What the fuck is going on? Okay. That's how this works. I hold it down, I get orb orbs. I release, it shoots out. This weapon... It's, it's, it's so fucking weird how to control this weapon. It goes in the direction I'm facing, but it has a wind-up period. This weapon is definitely for uh, the other control scheme. I need to let go of the fire button. Okay. okay this, this, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, this looks like it does good damage though. Wow, this is just good damage. Good damage. I didn't mean to use my bomb. Okay. So far, A is the most like straightforward one for me to use. C weapon does a lot of damage. Okay. With a double jump, I can see this being really good. It homes in on him. Try to hold on to C. C is just too keen. All right. Okay, so we're going to the research center. And then we're going to choose the top path. Okay.
all of his weapons seem to do high damage, like every one of them. Boss was this again? I'm too late. All right, this boss. Okay. The deeps! The deeps, man! I like this character so much more than Fang, dude. So much more. I like him so much more. All of his weapons do high damage. The low profile makes it easy, too. this up. Oh, it doesn't take the fuck. I don't want to lose the other weapon. No. Okay, that one's too slow. We want to use something like this. Right? Yeah, he's got a really interesting weapon. Can I just stand there and it'll go right underneath me? So down low profile. So far, the, 
Like, Bane has like the biggest, most apparent weaknesses of all the characters. Bane as in Ray? No, man. Ray is my second favorite character. Ray is, Ray is like the most well-rounded. Holy shit! What? Uh-oh. No, I don't want to lose this weapon. This this is broken. This guy's cracked. He's fucking cracked. No, I shouldn't have slid to the right, I should have slid left. No, I'm gonna be dead here. Don't wanna lose my A. I love my A. I'm just trying to make a buck. <laughs> Save your sob story for the people at headquarters. All right, be his virtual world. Remember the first time finding this boss? Yeah, it was tough. It was real tough. It took us a long time. But with the power of Sans Link. We learn at accelerate rate like the hyperbolic time chamber. Shit. This is such a bad start. I can't believe how strong this weapon is. But I guess it does have a weakness of it being technically uh, slow.
I'm gonna please go away so I don't actually kill myself here. I'm ducking just in case. You never know. So it doesn't seem to be good against this boss. I guess it depends on how much is piercing through because it, he's a small body. So I guess it's not doing the, the right amount of damage anymore. So we meet again. Jesus Christ. Some more he shoots missiles. Gotta be careful. Oh! Switch weapons and panic. Oh, this is like a double jump. Since I can double jump, I can get to the roof.
Does this do good damage? I'm going to assume everything does good damage. No, no, no! Oh, it's all falling apart. He's so tiny that I slid too shallow. Nice. I had this boss unlock, I did. But when you die, you lose your rhythm. He was so tiny, I slid too far away. How's that in OS? I'm playing a new character. It's different for everyone. Educate yourselves. Okay, this is why you have to pick the second option. No, first option. Choose the first option. You'll now be my prey. Here we go again. Alright, this boss. Continue with no weapons, but it is what it is. Okay. It? What do you mean, Mecca? You think this character is the easiest? No, this character is not the easiest character. You're crazy. You think it's the All of his weapons require a learning curve. Why would he be the easiest character? We're doing the best. We're doing the best so far, though, Mecha. I don't know why you're saying we're we're having it rough. That was the first time we had to continue. We already we're past the halfway point. With the boss, but we had no lives though. Man. We only had one life left. I gotta keep my eye on you, Max. Sometimes you say some weird shit. Oh 
don't see. <laughs> okay. What this guy does. It's okay, now we can restart with get the weapon back. Completely forgot that guy did. Those two those last two kinda look the same too. I was like, what the fuck is this one do? Like one fly one the other. That's good that we died on it can get the C weapon back. the jump over that one. Is this the second character play through the third? It's the fourth. Say bad RNG. How many times have I beaten the game? Three times. Yeah, this is the last combination. Well, there is apparently a secret bonus ending. Uh, by climbing up that top wall, but I'm gonna wait for Qual on a two-player playthrough to get that one. No, he fucking stopped in the dumbest spot. I don't even know if these things can hit me if I stand, but I don't want to, I don't want to find out. No! I went for the deeps. When I lose that C weapon, the fucking morale just hits the bomb bomb. Yeah, I did get I did get super greedy there. Super greedy. Too drunk on power with this character. Yeah, this guy gotta remember not to slide, I need to jump.
C. No, you fucking C. Oh my god, the greed. Holy shit, low profile OP. I never imagined that the doctor was working for the enemy. But because of that, we now know where their HQ is. Take an overseas route to strike it. All right. So what difference is there? What's what's the different scenario now? Now we're in from the water. Holy shit! Cause the doctor's dead. Now. What is this gonna do? I don't know what the fuck this is gonna do. Guys, why is it- why are we in the ocean now? Like, what scenario changed? They're taking the two top paths in it. Because I killed Joe and the doctor's dead? I'm trying- I'm trying to think about the very first scenario. What did I do, do different? No, we took the bottom path this time. Shit. slide okay no, I can't read the chat right now but I'll, I'll read it in a second Gunstar. Literally Gunstar. I didn't have fucking no clue what he was gonna do there. I can't slide? No, I can't slide. Fuck, I didn't know. It, he has different mech combinations. I don't know what he's gonna do. You went to protect the alien cell but failed and you killed the doctor. Joe's still alive too. The other scenario I went... 
What did I do? I went to protect the alien cell. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. I don't remember. What did I do differently this time? I didn't go after Joe. We instead went to protect the cell. Would you rather have multiple paths like that or be able to play all the stages of a single run? I, I mentioned we should have both. Like when let's say something like you complete the game on everything, then you have one like marathon mode called hardcore mode or something. You know? Something like that. know what this thing did. We always kill it before it does something. I got super greedy. Fuck. I, mean, I should try this button against that guy. I just really don't get to hit it that often. Okay, so he, all right, he makes you flinch so you want to jump. Oh, I have to stay close too. All right. There's a lot of things to learn from this boss and what he does.
Yeah, this does do much better damage. Okay. So I can't get this sustained. go underneath him. Oh, fuck, dude. This is, like, this boss, like, all of his attacks are, like, just unreactable if you don't know what's coming next. I literally, it literally cost me a life per fucking different thing he does. Fucking crazy. Can't jump on from that side either. You have to be fast. Man, that fucking bird is annoying. It's definitely the cheapest boss so far in this game. I still haven't seen the third mech, there's like a third combination. Oh, I killed it. Dude, I killed it. Because he was walking. Okay, here we go. Another cheap shot here. Maybe it was a safe spot, yeah. Wait, what? Dude, this is so whack. Yeah, you were right, it was a safe spot.
that's it. That was like the wackest boss in the game. Just because of how cheap he is. Like, every single thing he did, every move, cost me a life. Every single thing. That boss was so whack. There was no other boss like that in the game that was that bad, where it's like, you just fucking die, you know? Alright, let's continue. Well, at least we're done with that level. Brownie. Holy shit, that guy had a lightsaber? Grabbing A on this level is kind of... What? I'm stuck in the ledge. Having my default weapon is actually <laughs> the best for this level. They won't... No, I didn't mean to stay on the ledge, though. So I was like, what? The dash through it when it goes thin. So this is the clever shit. This is what I'm talking about. Anyone can make a contra game, but you need some imagination for this shit. Man, look at that logo. I didn't think you'd make it. You have ruined my plans. But a warrior as strong and brave as you are deserving of praise. I've been looking for a soldier such as you for a long time. Join with me. <laughs> the world is waiting for people such as you and I to lead them. What? I got a third choice? I got to pop the sands here just in case. Let's say I agree. <laughs> Bad end, and thus the most evil dictator of all time was born, and mankind was propelled into a long age of darkness and gloom. Hey, I get different picture combinations while I was using different characters. Evil Brownie. Could you imagine Evil Brownie, bro? How devastating that would be? Where does it start me off? Does it start me off right at the beginning of the level? Yeah, it does. Okay, refuse. You stubborn buffoon! Prepare to die! What the fuck? <laughs> uh, absolute cheeks, bro. Okay, that was very quick. Oops, let me pop the right time here.
I think that's a a damage check. I think that one's like literally a damage check. I'm scared to lose my weapon. Good. I don't want to lose my A. So there, thanks for the sub, buddy. Thanks for the 10, man. No! Okay, good. No! Couldn't recoup. Crazy they shoot too. Yeah, every boss is pretty rough without your weapons. doing buddy Yeah, he throws shit at you. Fuck. Him. We actually have a weapon, Jesus. We actually have a weapon, boys. Bent the dash left, not right. Nice. Ugh. 
You beat me, but this will be no victory for you. When I die, a missile armed with the alien cell will take off. You'll see the world burn in the flames of hell. Jesus, this guy's an asshole. going on now oh it's all oh, it's fucking joe this is the joe's the final boss what the hell the colonel's already dead stop this foolishness i could care less about the colonel i'm going all the way what an asshole all right let's see where we continue from on this if it warps the red start the level Spider one is definitely up there. And then the one where the, the guy's controlling the big robot turret. That one's pretty tough too. Killed his ass and now we have to save the world. He was a bum. Jump! At least the game told us what to do, Jesus. No, my weapon! <laughs> my weapon! Okay, good. Don't worry, we got the most important one. The aliens are destroying the rocket. Oh, we have to fight the alien boss now? I can't fucking see! This fucking thing is crawling below me! Readjust! I need deeps. Oh my god, I can't even see what this boss did because my C weapon is too crazy. Oh shit, what is this ending? Fuck! Don't lose my weapon, please! No! Grab your arm! His arm is his weak point? I have to attack the limbs! It's a dead space ripoff! Cheeks, I don't know what's going on, man. Ah, oh. what a weird ass. This must last all crazy. I just like how much of a bum Joe is. You know, like he's like a terrible bum, he dies like so fast. <laughs> he just dies is such a wuss. Okay, 
your weapons. Big deeps. This hack weapon is actually pretty good. You piece of shit! Oh, fuck me, man. You keep dying to unknown attack. Even with Sans, it's annoying. Even with Sans, it's fucking annoying. Imagine starting from the very beginning. Go away, Joe, you're a bum. I needed A, dude. A was so important. Fudge. This is not good. This is gonna be annoying as fuck. Oh, below, below. Obey me. Yeah. 
You guys didn't see, but uh, as soon as I died the first time, I switched to my C and I lost my C. Then I was pissed. Fuck, that was annoying. And we didn't have an A. That's another thing, too. We missed our A as well. So annoying. Take care of this bum. No, I lost Steve. Uh, hey, at least we got A though. A is still good. Dude, we can never get to this boss like perfectly. Shit always gets fucked. Why not jump? Okay, we can still do this though. Fuck your arms. Oh, he made this bony arm. So it did more wiggle. Okay, no greed. No greed, boys. Just deeps. Hey, brother, sir, to keep you waiting. Thanks for the hand. Weren't we, like, heading towards Earth's orbit at alarming speed? Dude, this game is beyond chemo. Genesis doesn't deserve this game, man. It's too good. It doesn't deserve it. really does It's too good. Best any- I don't know. I don't know what the hardest path was. I really don't. Like the spider one is definitely up there. But we made it there with no weapons and we can play fucking Fang. Or not fame, but uh, we had no weapons.
Zippers can't handle this, it'd be a slower game. It doesn't have blast processing. I always thought the alien nest was the hardest path for you. I mean, as long as you save the bomb for the alien boss at the end, then the hardest part's over. I still remember most of that level. The Alien Nest has like two mini boss fights before you get to the last boss too though. Yeah, the Japanese version you can take like multiple hits before you die. That was awesome. That was awesome. Pure Kino. Pure Kino, boys. So yeah, we beat this game four times. Four different characters. Four different paths. There is one more bonus ending, but I'll save that for when I play with Koala and Co-op. So I'll play this game one more time in the future. One more time in the future. This game is amazing, though. This is the best Contra game I've played so far, for sure. This game is just too good doesn't deserve to be on genesis those are my final thoughts that's like its biggest con is that it's on the genesis